Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest <laughs> Atari games, and we have a new one today. Yay! And it is for uh, the Atari Lynx. Uh, it is a very special game. Spring break for Tanya. Spring break for Tanya. That's <laughs> Just right. Taking an extra day, right? Special time today. Yes. Uh, it's a special game because it's mm -hmm. one of our favorite games mm -hmm. that we played on the Commodore 64 oh, in the I love 80s. This game. Yes. It is Impossible Mission for the Atari Lynx. Tanya's got on her Impossible Mission yes. t-shirt that I got her. My Tumbling, uh, I don't know what his name tumbling is. Dude? We'll tumbling Dude? We'll find out what his spy. name is. Tumbling Spy. Tumbling Spy. I'm sure he has a name. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, this uh, game is made by Gisberto Rondinella, also known as Nop90 on the Atari Age forums. He's in the chat, so if you have any questions for the developer... He's right here Excellent. and he can answer them. And we're dedicating this whole show to this game <laughs> because it is uh, an involved game. It's a great platformer. Yes. It's a great puzzler. Yes. Um, and uh, it gets very involved and it's uh, it takes a while. Yeah, I uh, and I know we're going to have to do it multiple times because uh, I will see if I get to the end because the last time we played the platforming was fine. But the puzzle part of it, I hadn't done in so <laughs> long. I, I found yeah. it really, really challenging compared to when I when I used to play it. So, yeah, we'll see. So about the we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see if uh, Impossible Mission is indeed impossible, impossible. for us. Yeah like it is on the Atari 7800. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but first, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who uh, help mm -hmm. support the show. Are you subscribed? Oh, no, I'm not. Okay, Oh, hold on, hold my on. goodness. No support <laughs> from the team here. 8-Bit uh, Poet, Al Nefer, Andrew Atari, Armscar Coder, Atari 800 XL, Rose Atari 8074, Atari G, Atari Maximus, BR Pocock, Bruno Stex, Captain Class, Charles Bonnet, Don Dino, Charles Whelan, Tr Chitlala, Cyrano Rebo, Dino, Dan, if you see, Daryl 970, Drexel, Dark Mook, House, Gamma Dev, Gisberto, Rondinella. Thank you for supporting the show. Uh, Great Offender, Ground Trooper, Araldo Urju, uh, Johnny WC, Computer Kent, uh, Coder, Carl G, Karakak, Crocker 2600, Cavalt for Lambda Express, Mandy Sipping T, Markianis, Mark Basic, Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Sol, McTell, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Nathan Storm, Neon Immediate, Nostalgic, and Pseudographics, Koog, R. Anschwitz, Render Ghost, Repentless, Speedy Retro Gamer, Revan, Tooley, Ricardo Pim, Smitty B, Spicer, Spinley, Esmeralds, D Train, Tiki Dan, KT, Foes, Track MD, Tweeny, Vintage Game Memories, VG Double Down, X, Ken X. And if you want to support the show and get your name on the list, just subscribe like Tanya is doing. <laughs> I'm trying to. It just went, my page blank. just went blank. I don't uh, know what happened here. Crash it out. Try it again. Um, just yep. hit subscribe on Twitch. It's free with Amazon Prime. Oh. It's having trouble. Broken phone. Broken. Um, he is a sports uh, James commentator. Is a sports commentator. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's 90 cycles of pause out of 60 no. mil? There you go, Blipsqueak Yay! just subscribed. Thank you, Blipsqueak. And also S. Ramirez did just before the show. There we go. The chat's gone on my screen. Broken. Just, just completely disappeared. Just got a broken phone. I don't know what's going on. Um, and oh, well. uh, Gisberto Rondinella did a couple hours before the show as well. Nop90, yes, that's his name on the Atari Age forums if you want to check out what he's posting there. Um, so, I have... Oh, uh, we're going to be giving away a zero-page coaster, Woo! one of these. Yep, we've Don't got three to one. choose from. Three to choose from. Yeah. Uh, they're very shiny. We'll, sh we'll show them up. Tanya's made them. Yes, let me see. Uh, there you go. You Thank can you. look at them. Nice, nice. Uh, sounds like a line of assembly. Oh, well, 90 knop cycles. Yeah, could be. 90 cycles of pause. Yeah. Um, so if you have not won one of these coasters, yes. uh, we'll give them away a little bit later mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. the show been a couple of people who have won that um so i have selected my second atari 2600 game to create hi uh my first one was released a couple days ago yeah well uh, still work in progress but you're yes. working on it yeah, right yeah yeah, yeah, yeah yeah uh pack line 2600 nice it's a port but this one's going to be an original you've come up with an idea eh? uh well i've dug in my archives uh my game folder james idea james's ideas yeah it, yeah there's like over two dozen game ideas in here yeah, that i've nice. come up for the atari 2600 <laughs> for a fee you can make one no 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 okay fair enough they're mine <laughs> um 
and I uh, went through them and I have selected uh, one of them and I've started a thread in the ZTH club with the code name to the top. Nice. I have not actually selected a real name for it and that's why I uh, have a uh, just a uh, code name for it. So to the top it's called right now. I don't want to give anything away what it's about. I think it's going to be very visually impressive, mm -hmm. uh, fun to play. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a platformer. Mm. Yes. And I love platformers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but a little twist on a platformer, of course. Knight That's, Rider. Night, it's going to be Knight Rider. <laughs> that sounds like um, fun. So I think I picked one that I thought would be achievable at my current skill level, mm. but also something that pushes me a little bit harder to learn a little yeah. bit. And this one, this one's has got some stuff in it that I don't know how to do oh. yet, but I'll learn. I'll figure it out. Yeah. But most of it, it's like, okay, I can do that. It's nice. achievable. Nice. Um, and it seems like it'd be fun for me to play and hopefully other people will like it as well. Um, I'll probably start developing uh, some of the kernels for it. Those are like little bits of code that draw part of the screen. Um, while I finish working on pack line to 2600. So I'll just go back and forth on that because uh, I'm very eager to get going on it already. Very excited. Yeah. Like when you're on a roll, just keep pushing. That's right. Keep going. When, when you've got that motivation, just... Uh, hey, Carl G., I suppose I won't be able to guess this one. Uh, well, it's not a... Yeah, it'd be harder, let's say. <laughs> yeah. You'd have to guess it out of infinite possibilities. Um, speaking of pack line 2600, mm -hmm. um, ABA Games, the creator of the original game yeah. that mine is based on... Yes. Uh, called Paku Paku. Paku Paku. Um, reposted my news about the release of the game. Nice. I was so happy because I posted on on uh, Twitter. Uh, let me just show you. So this is his uh, Twitter, and uh, it's a couple of days old now. Yeah. But uh, yeah, he reposted my news about uh, the release of Packline nice. Twenty Six Hundred. Nice. And then he reposted the stream about it too. Oh, which that's is really, really nice. nice. Yeah. yeah. Um, so thank you, ABA Games. And also, the creator of the pack line... Off the Pico 8? Off the Pico 8 mm. also um, reposted. There's his Pico 8 version. Reposted my uh, news about the release as well, because it's it's based on his... His version. His version of Paku Paku. Nice. Yeah. So that was that was very very cool to see yeah. them appreciate me bring it to another platform. Yeah. There's about eight other platforms it's on now. Okay. Um, so hopefully it spreads even more because nice. actually Vitoko is working on one for the Atari 8-bit now. There you go. Uh, I'm not surprised. Yeah. And he, and <laughs> I think he said he started working on it when you released your game. He's yeah. like, I can make that, and he started coding it immediately. And he, and he didn't quite. <laughs> finish something he could show before the end of the show but that's he got funny. he got there very quick that's funny and now he has a working version he just has to implement a couple things put in sound tweak it a bit yeah, yeah. but he's uh well on his way nice. for that yeah nice 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 um so yeah yeah we're gonna be giving away the coaster a little bit later in the show okay um uh, probably after your first death I okay. Think we'll do it. Well, there are right. many deaths, but it's because it's But it's the first it's one will based. come. Yes. Yes. Yeah. The first fail. First fail. The first fail. Um, There'll be a few. <laughs> so, an impossible mission. Um, it was originally created for the Commodore 64. Um, and that's where we played it on. So, that was the original incarnation of yeah, it. Yeah. Okay. It was the original release. Fantastic game, yeah. Sometimes games are released concurrently on a bunch of different platforms. Like, they have an idea. And they go, you do this one, you do this one, you do this one. But this one was actually um, on the Commodore 64 first for uh, at least a portion of a year. And then it went, it was released in 1984, September 1984 in North America, uh, March 1985 in Europe. And then there were ports of it, mm. uh, Apple II in 19, June 1985, and then also in 1985, Electron, BBC, and Spectrum. 86, Amstrad CPC, 87, Atari 7800, which you can get the jokes out of the way. Uh, it was released and <laughs> Truly it, was, impossible. it was impossible to finish. There was a bug yeah. in it. Uh, that bug has been fixed. Of course. Since. I'm sure someone has, but. By the community. Yes. So you can play it now and finish it on and the 7800. Finish it. Oh. And then 88 on the master system. So it was originally created by uh, Dennis Caswell. 
Um, and just from the Wikipedia, game features a variety of gameplay mechanics from platform and adventure games. Includes digitized speech, which mm -hmm. made it, I think, quite famous because people love that. Did at least I do. I love that digitized. I speech. loved it. I loved it. Um, I had it on my phone for a little while. Destroy him, oh, my robots. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Impossible mission, which casts the player in the role of a secret agent infiltrating an enemy stronghold, is widely considered one of the best games for several platforms. Yeah. Yeah. So it's very, very widely celebrated as one of the best C64 games. Um, oh, not by the community. Who person who originally did the? Uh, oh, really? Okay, oh, that's oh, good great. to know. Even better. Yeah. yeah. The fixed drama is called Possible Mission. I just assumed, uh, assumed awesome. it was a community because you know those. People Usually, back people then, abandon just, them after they're done. So they that's kind of cool to know. They make yeah. it move on. Yep. Stop tapping, please. Um, hello, seven of seven. So let's take a look at um, some of the different versions mm -hmm. and the look of each of them on the different platforms. Um, so, no, stop, stop, very loud. Um, <laughs> Blast everyone's ear out. Yep. So first, oh, this is from uh, Retro Sutra. So first we'll okay. see the, oh, the they, original. Is this, is this the YouTube channel that always has all these side-by-side -side comparisons? There's, there's a couple um, that do this. Okay. Um, this is one of them. This is a very good one. So uh, this one's the Commodore 64, which we know and love. Um, and it was developed by, um, uh, it was published by Epix. And if you played a bunch of Epix games, mm. you would recognize the runner. Uh, cause he was, that same graphic was used in like, um, summer games and winter games. Gotcha. The same, uh, animation. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I never played their summer and winter games. I only ever played. So if you look at the om opening ceremonies for summer games, the guy, that guy yeah. runs in and lights the torch. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. So it's it's kind of cool that uh, that legacy that 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 runner has. So here's the Apple II version. Oof, yeah. a little chonky there. A little, a little flickery, a little chonky. Definitely, the ball is not as uh, not as spherical menacing. and menacing. It's, it's not black. I wonder why it didn't make it black. I don't know. Maybe it's on it's an orange uh... background, and there is black as one of the colors. Definitely. I don't know why they didn't make it black. Very strange. Mm. Um, uh, ZX Spectrum, who plays Ooh. nice and fast. And in uh, ZX, ZX Spectrum, Spectrum style, yeah. style, it's uh, blocks of color. Yeah. Or monochrome graphics. Yeah, yeah. That's that's very playable. Yeah. Acorn Electron. A little bit slower. See, none of these touch the Commodore 64 version, in my opinion. Oh, no, no. Well, not so far. Uh, BBC Micro. Oh, that's not a platform. Let's go to the... Not bad. Not bad. I think there's something in the animation of the guy. Yes. That it's is just so beautiful. It's very fluid on the C64. It's a little square, but it's probably just the... Uh... Amstrad CPC. Oh, wow. That's, that runs fast. Very. Right, it looks pretty good. Good colors. Oh, it's so fast. That looks very hard. Here's this Atari 7800. Whoa! Oh, the, the guy looks so different! Very different. He's got a prominent nose. <laughs> very nosy. Uh, wow! The robots look different. The robots are kind of neat. Yeah, I kind of like the, the, um, the diagonal... Um, oh, yeah, the angle on them. And uh, the flashing visor. The shape of the body with yeah. the head. The, with that kind of, like face almost yeah wow cool sega master system come on oh yeah oh that's been like kind of modernized yeah and, uh, higher resolution graphics more colors whoa that was close yeah that was close uh and the amiga oh they just replicated Ooh, the c64 this looks very c64 so they're just like yeah we're not gonna mess with it we're gonna keep it commodore um, and this one's no, Amiga as too. well. I'm not says, surprised. It looks pretty similar. I don't know what the difference is. AGA, Mission, Possible Mission 2025. But it looks the same. Hmm. Yeah, it's the same. Uh, and this is Amiga. Oh, very smooth. Very much looks like the... Yep, C64 colors. C64. Oh, except for the zappers. That looks much more intense. Yeah. Uh, here's the Nintendo DS. This oh. is obviously a more modern graphical upgrade, mm. but it looks like the same game. Same arrangements, just different uh, graphics, different hard backgrounds. Hard to say, because Impossible Mission 2 had very different 
uh, robots. Yes. They had different kinds of robots. This is, this is not Impossible Mission 2, this comparison. This it is looks just... like this is Impossible Mission 2. Oh, uh, well, nice maybe not, but... Uh... Oh, you could switch. Ah, okay. You could switch between old school and new school. It's... Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Neat. Uh, PlayStation Portable. Uh, it looks like you could also switch. Oh, look at forth. that. Wow. Oh, uh, Same. They offer a couple then of PS2. Things. And it looks like you could switch as well. That's cool. Uh, on the Wii. And you could switch as well. To kind of... Yeah, it, looks a, looks, it looks a lot Yeah, more it's got similar. an outline, though. The guy's got an outline. <gasps> when you freeze the robots, you can walk through them. That's not correct. No, it's not. You should be zapped. zapping. Oh, somebody didn't pay attention to the original. Uh, Nintendo Switch, it was released on yeah. as well. It looks like the same. Yeah. Same, same one. Yeah. Interesting. And then PC Windows remastered in 2020. Uh, come on. Let me scroll. Yeah, and that's just pure Very old school. Very much old school, yeah. yeah. So Neat. lots of uh, versions to choose from, and today we're adding to the list. Um, so this is, like I said, it's from Gisberto Rondinella, also known as Nop90, and the title music is done by Miker, uh, Mikhail... Sh Shiplowski. Shiplowski? <laughs> she knows it better than I do. I don't know. <laughs> it still um, might not be right. Oh, they were, uh, the 7800 version was available at Good Deal Games on cartridge. Uh, I don't know if that is still available. Let's see. Uh, sold out. Nope. Not available anymore. Oh, That's no. Yeah. Well, it happens. Um, so this was first posted about uh, in the Atari Age forums on January 5th, 2024, and he's been working on it ever since. Uh, other games uh, that Nop90 has made, Fortitude, Bug Hunt, Final Melee, these are all for the links, uh, Lawn Mower, Minimal, Nutmeg, On Duty, Santa Factory, Starblader, uh, Jump, Jump, and Jump 2. Nice. How do you pronounce the X, I guess? Jump. 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 Um, and he originally posted it saying, Old Lost Prototype of a New Homebrew. Ooh. Let me switch to show you that. There you go. Old Lost Prototype of a New Homebrew Remake. Or, I'm sure it's supposed to mean, or New Homebrew Remake. Nice. So everybody was like, what? Was, <laughs> was this recovered? Was this a prototype that was never released? <laughs> I, I was stunned too. I wasn't, I wasn't sure whether I should add it to my list of oh, games that are being worked on for the Lynx. Um, but, uh, oh, and a 2600 demo. Mm. Oh, yeah, I think I remember that. I think this is quite doable for the 2600 because a lot of things are on platforms on different levels. I think just the graphics would have to be scaled back a fair amount. So. Yeah, the issue is yeah. the things you need to search. And also, how do you, can the animation do the flippies? Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, okay. Yeah, you just point out a different animation after okay. every second or two seconds or fair whatever. Enough. Every, every, couple frames yeah animation's not the problem okay it's the number of graphics on the line mm. but you could make it really boring and change everything into big square blocks that you have to search yeah and you could do it that way yeah um you wouldn't get the joy of having to search a toilet you know, on... <laughs> that's right <laughs> uh, yeah Ugh. how do you stuff all that data into a 2600 cart yeah uh very efficiently yeah let's say. <laughs> but there are carts that go up quite big now mm. um there are carts that are common ish that are now 128k mm. um and the biggest one is actually the movie cart, which is infinite because it reads constantly from Alna the movie cart. Alna first posted the link to the 2600 demo. Oh, excellent. I want to see that, actually. I'm sure I've run across it, but it's been a long time. I probably even showed it on the show when I saw it. Uh, oh, oh that's... there we go. Oh, the characters are actually really good. Nice. There's alternate backgrounds. Cute. Cute. The character's really cute. The <laughs> robot's almost perfect, yep. actually, yep. The on robot the 2600. Nice. Oh, look, I'm the first commenter. <laughs> uh, this is back in 2020. Completely forgot. There oh, my. Go. I'll have to show Tanya these screenshots. <laughs> they look great. Impossible uh, Mission is one of her favorite games. Yeah. There you go. 
I'm in over my head, but thanks for the support. I prefer to drop the puzzle solving and just have the levels to play. Yeah, the levels might be, yeah, might be doable. Yeah, oh, and people are lending support with... Oh, look at that. Thank you for joining, Mish the Loo. Oh, yeah, you could suspend the uh, things you need to search up oh, above. On a higher line? Yeah, ah. like put all the computer, put the things you need to search just above. Interesting. Um, yeah. How far did this get? Um, oh, yeah, it got pretty far. He's got... Oh, you could make things searchable with the play field. He's got a fireplace there. Oh, neat. Oh, that cool. works. That's Very cool. Three pages. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. Yeah. This is, I totally <laughs> and now forgot we're now on the this. internet. Yeah, no, oh, that's now cool. Now it's on a pedestal. Oh, I see, I see, I uh, see. The computer. That Playing works. With it. Yeah. Oh, look. Yeah, oh, you yeah. can do play field stuff. Yeah, nice. Oh, yeah. And... Obviously, he didn't finish this. The jumping and the new objects on the screen look awesome. Great use of the play field for the larger one. Just repeating myself. Neat. Very neat. Getting a little oh, bit of the robots movement. look good. Oh, that jumps fast. Oh, that's, that's wow. excellent. This is totally doable. Yeah. Why didn't you finish this? <laughs> Our <Arsenal. laughs> Looks like he's got so far. Yeah. Uh, Very cool. And last update was just over a year ago. Gotcha. Uh, uh, it was more what of a could it be done and look good using what skills I have and Batari. So yeah. what he has shown looks like the whole game could be done. Yeah. I think you would have to go to a full screen. You'd have to do something different with the uh, puzzle pieces, though, mm. because that's very intricate. Yeah. Um, no, you could do eight by eight puzzles. With two sprites? Yeah, it could be done. You can make it work. Yeah, it could be done. Anyway, sorry about that. I got really excited. <laughs> <laughs> as excited as I am for the Lynx version here as well. Okay. Uh, I think we blabbed on enough. I think it's time. Let me get this warmed up. Warm it up. Get warm it nice up. and warm. Put the cat on it. Yeah. Warm it up. Yeah. He can fluff it up for you. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah. Did I bug you? I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, He's patting him too sensitive hard. Kitties. He's like, don't do that. Oh, you're so sweet. You're so He's sweet. A sweet little baby cat. He just wants treats. There we go. He's just sucking up. Sucking up for treats. Yeah. Okay. I'm so excited. Uh, and so this is an exclusive world premiere. Okay, is everybody <laughs> ready for impossible mission? Oh, you have a cat. You start. <laughs> I'll, uh, you start it. I'll start it up anyway. Okay. Uh-oh. It's going. Yay! Oh, wow! It's got the title screen. Wow! Nice. Now we've got the music from Miker. Let's just enjoy the music for a bit here. <laughs> well, hopefully you will be able to send your money. That will be awesome. If this could get an official release. Okay. Okay. I, I need to buy a Lynx, Al says. <laughs> There's some good Lynx stuff coming out now. All right. So I don't think those are implemented. Uh, Go to the okay. high scores. Oh, okay. It's high scores are there. Hall of Fame. Nice. nice. Go to puzzle only. Passcode yeah, I don't. Yeah, those. I don't think those are implemented yet. Platform only. Okay. Yeah. But that's cool because then you can practice. Yeah. Which was always a problem with the puzzles is you have to get to the end of the game to even practice the to puzzles. To get all the pieces. And you're like, right? ah. <laughs> yeah. So let's. Um, so I've got the full instructions. Okay. You're gonna read while I start. For uh, very nice. Impossible Mission C64, which this is based on. This is the C64. So. This was probably one of the few games I bought in box. What? You had this in the box? Yeah. 
Wow. I had a boxed version of this, like and and mission and Impossible Mission Two, both of them. Oh wow! Uh, most of my other games were from other people. <laughs> so, and where is it now? It's long gone. My dad got rid of his his C sixty four a long long time so ago. I know. So sad. I know. It is very sad. Platforms and puzzles only are not implemented yet. No problem. That's what I thought. Okay. All right. Play game. Yep. Yes, you got to have that speech in there. <laughs> okay, so I've got some notes um, from NOP90 here. Yes. To get used to this. So Tanny's going to have to get used to the playing uh, of this. You didn't jump. No. Now you have no platform. <laughs> It's not quite the same. <laughs> not quite exactly to, the same. I have to get used to it. You have to relearn good. the timing. Oh my goodness. Because timing's different. Buttons are different. Oh. Oh. oh, oh. The jump is definitely a little slower. Oh, yeah. he's going he's gonna to immediately. Uh, the menu is an early work in progress. Oh. The music is a placeholder. And already found a nice royalty-free music that I have to convert in chipper format. But that has been superseded by uh, uh, music from Miker. The game is very like the original C64 one, but there are some small differences. Uh, the platforms are not blocking. That makes jumping a little bit easier. Uh, but I think the game experience doesn't change too much. The behavior is unavoidable with the game engine I implemented. So you can you can pass through the... Um, ah. <laughs> you can pass through some of the platforms oh, when jumping. No. Oh, this is insta-death. Oh, okay. uh, bad jumping timing. Yeah. Um, the elevator can't change directions while moving. I'll try to fix it in the future. So you're committed to a movement. Oh, that's once you go. that's okay. But it's very rare. Is that you different than the? But it's very rare you turn around. What's different? Uh, is that different? Because I thought the. No, you can go on the C64. Oh, can you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, in the original game, you can join pieces from different parts of the password if the pieces don't overlap. In my version, you can only join pieces that compose the same letter of the password. This makes solving puzzles a little easier, but remains a very time-consuming task. All the pieces are procedurally generated uh, and are different in every new game, just like in the C64. So on the C64, you could put pieces together that aren't part of the same puzzle, mm. which made it harder. On this one, you... Um, I need to pause that robot. No. Uh, no, you have time. Uh, on this one, it only allows you to put pieces together that belong together. So it makes it a lot easier. Uh, to turn on the Palm PC, is that actually what it's called in the game? Palm PC? I'll have to look that up. Use option one. On the C64, it's use the same button to make a jump, but I don't like to have unused buttons on the links. You can close it with the opt one or pressing the turn off button on the Palm PC. So all I'll have to do, this joystick does not connect to the option. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna have to get up and press to turn on your computer, but you don't do that till much later when you get a lot of pieces. Yeah. So that's not a big deal. Okay, so once once you want to start manipulating pieces, you have yeah. to. Okay. But I would like to put in a request that it goes on the second button, the um, B button or whatever it is, because mine aren't labeled, um, so that I don't have to get, so we don't have to get up. You know what I hate? The robots that don't zap till you get on their level. Oh yeah, it's you like, have to surprise. Know. You have to know. A little quiet. I'm gonna turn it up. Ah, okay. There we go. I can do that, but uh, yeah. Icon 64 is working on official third title in the Impossible Mission. Oh, oh. is that paused. one of those? Oh. He paused. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Let me still get back up. Okay, Errol. Oh, he just faces you and zaps. That's yeah. going to be very hard. No. Well, it is when you haven't, you're not used to the controls yet. Ah, oh, okay. That's enough time. Ah, uh. My timing, my timing <laughs> is uh, is definitely off. Uh, Tanya is very good at this game. I'm not terrible so. at this game. Not terrible. Let's not put terrible. it at that. Yeah. I'm 
better at the Commodore 64 version. Well, wow. once you get the, used to the timing on this one, you'll be fine. Oh, okay. Gotta be very careful. Uh, when you click on a piece of the puzzle the first time it's selected, uh, when you click on again, you grab it. On the C64, you do both things at one time, but I don't like it if you only need to select a piece to change orientation and color. Ah, nice. Scrolling pieces have buttons inverted to the original C64 games. Scrolling pieces. Scrolling pieces? Now it behaves like the scrolling bar on modern OS, like Windows or Linux. I think it's more natural for modern users. Okay. So we'll... we'll oh, gosh, my tiny. I'm going to run out of time. Oh, it's okay. The W character is very ugly in the font I made. So where possible, I changed the text of the original game to avoid this character. Oh, so like the written text. Of course, you there's nothing there. <laughs> of course, all that work for absolutely nothing. Which is often the way it works. Zap! <laughs> and nothing there. Uh, remember that the game is still in development. It will require a lot of tuning and polishing, and it is not bug free. That's okay. The biggest issue at the moment that is that in six rooms with lots of objects and platforms, there is a slowdown. I'll fix it after completing the game. Uh, trifle nightmare. Can you do the thing where you run over small gaps instead of the somersault? Yes. I well in the C sixty four you can. That's what he's referencing. You but can he's talking walk over small gaps. Uh, he's talking about this gap. Uh, we haven't encountered that yet. Oh well, that reset it. Okay, well there you go. Um, I. Early on, I went to a room that did have those gap, 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 gap all the way across. And I was able to run over one, but not the other. But I'm not the most skilled at this game, so I think Tanya will have to test that out when, oh, you get, when she gets to I, that I'm level. very... I, you have to be very precise. You do. Can't jump off that high. Oh, oh, I can't... Whoa. I thought I could jump off of it. Nope. Oh! Oops. Gisberto said, yes, you can do it. Okay, excellent. The, the stuff you'd search is so weird. Ah! <laughs> Got stuck. You're too close to the corner. To no! It. Too slow. <laughs> oh, oh, you're going to have to hop faster. back and forth. Uh, or you freeze them. I don't like freezing them, though. Well, I don't think I've ever completed... Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> do it on the way. And it's just now. too slow. Oh man. Yeah. There we go. It's okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna win it. So we'll just play with just this. Just says there is one room that needs it. Yeah, I think that's the room I'm referencing. Okay. Great that you got into the game. It's a really unique feature. It is. He kind of just stumbles but catches himself over the uh, the gaps. So there you see on the bottom of the screen the map of the whole level and it tells you where you've been where you haven't been by little branches off so it's easy so you can see you haven't been there but as soon as you go in you'll go back you'll be able to see that you have been in. okay so i'm going to read the official instructions of this game now top secret operation adam bember adam bender ima special terrorist unit mission briefing Oh. Do not accept if seal is broken. Was this in a um, folder? Did it come in a folder? I think it might have. Out? I think it might have. I, I bet it did. Uh, couriers required by law to obtain proof of identity before releasing this document. Unauthorized possession of these materials is a criminal offense, punishable by law. Return to <sighs> IMA Washington, D.C. Diane. Oh, cheat on this. Uh. It only temporarily freezes them. Oof. Can I jump through them? No. No, no, no. Oh, this one you can. Okay. Maybe you can jump through them. I don't think so. I don't remember. Whoa. Lucky timing there. Does anybody know for sure if you can jump through them or walk through them on the C64? I thought they you, but I, was I can't very remember. Sure. I can't remember. Because we played it. Like recently, and I just can't remember. Within now. the last year, and I swear they zapped you. Like you I tried they, walking through them. I think they do. Anyhow. Oh, ah. You gotta have that. It's, it's that's very, the that's the most. It's awesome very distressing. <laughs> there. Of course, there's nothing there. Mm. Oh boy. Oh wow. 
want. How did I screw that up? I did the whole the wrong one. Just had to do on the other side. Yep. Uh, da, 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 da. Hi. Special Agent 4125. I'm 4125? Yes. Oh, that's kind of sad. <laughs> uh, subject, mission of vital importance to national and global security. Operations to begin immediately. Utmost urgency. Situation, during the past three days, key military computer installations of every major world power have reported security failures. In each case, someone gained access to a primary missile attack computer. Only one person is capable of computer tampering on this scale. Professor Elvin Adam Bender, here, hereafter referred to as Elvin. We uh, believe that Elvin is working to break the computer's launch codes. When he succeeds, he plans to trigger a missile attack that will destroy the world. Mission, you must penetrate Elvin's underground stronghold to stop him. To succeed, you'll have to evade the scientist robot guards. Uh, I, whenever I hear that about uh, evil, an evil guy and he sets up these robots to, to um, secure his area, I always wonder, why doesn't he equip all of them with zappers? Does he have budgetary constraints? Is that the issue? He's like, oh, I don't have enough uh, money to give them all zappers or all being fast. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. It, it, it could be budgetary concerns. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, to skeege, you'll have to evade the scientist robot guards, break his security code, and find his control center. Nice. Your predecessors, Agent 4116 and 4124, may they rest in peace, <laughs> were able to send back some information about Elvin's installation. It is detailed in the following pages. Your only weapons will be your keen analytical mind and your MIA 9366 pocket computer. Good luck. The world is depending on you. <laughs> it's not an easy game. No. The platforming's hard. The puzzling is hard. And there's a time limit. Hooray! Yeah, you throw... Yeah, trifecta. Yeah. Yeah. It's so now you can approach game, the puzzles from the there's, other side. There's just so, so much complexity to this game, which is wonderful. You have to get really good at timing. Yeah. Ooh, like that. <laughs> well, you just, yeah, you just have to know. Go search that candy machine for puzzle pieces. <laughs> this guy's gonna zap. Yeah. Yeah. In this game, there is a cigarette machine. So, warning tobacco use. We have to put that at the top of the screen. All right. Are you here to mess with Bernie? Don't mess with Bernie. Maybe. No, don't mess with Bernie, okay? <laughs> Oh my god, I'm not going to read uh, Elvin's uh, bio here. It's very Elvin Adam Bender? Yes, yeah. it's very long. I'll, I'll just give a summary. Uh, he's 62. He's 5'4, 120 62. pounds. Wow. No hair. He does have hair in the picture. Why did I say no hair? I mean, he's very, <laughs> very balding, but he has n very little. It's like a yeah. monk's hair. Um, eyes, yes. Eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb. Uh, traits, avoids people, hates animals, no. likes M&Ms. No, baby. No. Yeah, if you see any bugs, definitely point them out so that they can be... Oh, you why don't you just jump go up just one? before. You can't. Oh, it's separate. I thought that was a double. No. Um... Intelligence report. Elven stronghold. Using a fortune... Hey, he amassed by raiding the computer systems of various financial institutions, Elvin constructed a vast underground stronghold packed with computer equipment. There in seclusion, Elvin spent four years. Oh. No, no, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm dead, one. I'm dead, I'm dead. Ah, it reset. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I jumped out of the room. Oh, well, we'll see if I can do it. No. I can jump over him. Well, you have two things. <sighs> Brutal. Does it remember? Go back down. No, no, no. I, I used it up. I no, I mean up. the platforms. Does it remember every platform and every room? Yes. Okay. Y y you have to die in the room, I that's, believe. That's too close. Oh, double. Never mind. You know what you're doing. <laughs> I'm just a little... I'm a little... Uh... Our, practice. our computers estimate that he will break the launch codes and trigger the missile attack in exactly six hours. Um, is that is the countdown a real time six hours? 
I think it is, isn't it? But you die so much that it's a real hours. time six hours. But every time you die, it cuts off time. Yeah. 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 So you could, if you don't die, you actually get six hours to play this. But good yeah. luck. Yeah. So that's his. That's his fortress there. You can't get in there until right. you pass. Right. So you have puzzle. to memorize. This is where you need to get back. Is he to. zappy. I think he's zappy. Are you zappy? No, no, he's not. <laughs> not so zappy. Uh, Hi. Hi. Uh, Elven Stronghold has 32 rooms. Some of them are used as living quarters, and others are computer rooms. But, here comes the strange part, our intelligence indicates that each room has a series of floors or catwalks, which are connected by lifts. Very inefficient to get around. <laughs> to jump. Up. Oh, he is. He can get... Oh, he's... Oh, he doesn't move, though. It's gonna be... Run! Oof! Ah! Ah, ah oh. right at the end. That's okay, I got it. Okay, so that center one there, that's his, the fourth Top rest. center? The top of one, fourth two, over. three, four. Okay. okay. Ten minutes taken away per death. Yes. Carl G says, I love the animation of the jumps. Oh, I love it. We just don't see the time it takes to climb out of the bottomless pits. Yes, exactly oh, right, Smitty B. This guy's hard. Oh, yeah, I, that's... That's impossible, I think. He's I have to say, so if there's fast. any quibble, his the animation is beautiful, but it feels slower than the original Com Commodore version. He the, says the there jump. is slowdowns. There is slowdowns, yeah. okay. Because so that's the that's one... The, everything else feels very, very true to the original, and I like, would say that's the only thing is getting used to like the... the speeds of the robots. The speed of the jump is a little bit slower, but yeah. it's it's certainly manageable. But does everything slow down when you jump, or just you? You, I think. Like if you jump right now, at the well, yeah, okay. I don't, I don't know if anything else is slowing down. So does the whole game slow down, or is it just your jump is a little slower? That's my what I'm my jump feels a little slower, but I, I. So, so the robots are at the same speed, and your jump is slow. Uh, Elvin's robots, 1.57 meters. They weigh 67 kilograms. Oh, quite light for what they look like. <laughs> yeah. um, Agreed. Their weaponry is a high voltage ionic plasma generator. Uh, their energy reserves are 3.14 megajoules. Wow, big battery. Uh, maximum angular velocity, 1.2 mega radians per fortnight. <laughs> what? Um, a whole bunch of nonsensical stuff there. A uh, whole bunch of sensors. Uh, they have infrared photocells, high voltage electrodes, sound and motion sensors, linear induction magnet. So they operate on magnets. Oh, there's just no. That's the only. Because so normally, what how I would get that guy is I would jump, search, jump back, jump, search, jump back. But I feel like the jump is a little too slow to do that. Okay. So, uh, which is fine. Yeah. <laughs> We believe that Elvin hides the passwords in his furniture. <laughs> so funny. Elvin, who's extremely absent-minded, frequently forgets passwords for his security computer. The solution is to scatter them haphazardly around the house. I, I love explanations for nonsensical <laughs> things in games. Uh, yeah. Oh, good. You have a password. And it lasts about... There's going to be nothing there. Uh, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> uh, so robots do works. seem fast. Your run is only usually a tiny bit slower than the robot's top speed. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, you can find one of his passwords in the sofa, or the stereo, or the candy machine. But you must find them. Without the passwords, you almost certainly end yeah. up like Agent 4124. Once you find the codes, using them should be relatively easy. Uh, you should be able to log on to the security terminal as you enter each room and deactivate the robots or reset the lifts, if necessary, from there. This should present no problems. However, control room password is another matter. Realizing the importance of this particular code, Elvin has broken into dozens of pieces, scattering them throughout the complex. You'll have to find and retrieve all the pieces to match them up like a puzzle to form the password. With the complete password, you gain access to the control room where Elvin is preparing to launch the missiles. You have to stop him, or the world is def uh, is going to be terminally late for dinner tonight. Okay. 
how to load the game on the C64. Oh, gosh. Searching for codes. We know that. Oh, you fell down a pit. Purposely. <laughs> Perp? Oh, to reset? Yeah, I'm having trouble getting the time. Does falling right. down a pit take more time away than being zapped? Don't think so. I don't think so. I think it's all the same. But, like, normally I can walk across this. Mm, really? That big? Yeah. Because that's bigger than the small gaps. Yeah, I, I'm not, not sure I'm able to do that. I, I think that's too big of a gap. No, usually I can walk across that. Hmm. The Wilhelm screen. That would be cool if it was. <laughs> it, it pretty much is. <laughs> yeah. So oh. that's too far to jump far. And if you back up that way, is it? Oh, it's okay, not. Okay, so I can make it okay. there. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I can't normally. Norm I think I can usually jump over a gap that big. Uh, the gap of the platform, you can usually make a big step across. Hey, hey, leave Bernie alone. Oh, don't bother Bernie. He's very happy there. I should have played this before playing this. <laughs> played it before playing it? Well, no, like the Commodore 64 one, because now oh. I'm... Anyway. No, oh, you're fine. <sighs> you have to jump. It's slow. Mmm. Like, the running scene It's it's fine. It's me getting used to it, too, right? Like, um... Hey, hey, sir. Sir. Sir Cat. Sir, hey! <gasps> Leave him alone. It's not your toy. You have a bucket, a yeah, bin I full of toys I upstairs. Just, I have to take like another a huge step. bin. Because Bearful says you can walk on it starting from the border. So I have to be right at the edge. Right at the edge. Then okay. he makes a big step. Okay. No, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> <laughs> I could do it while he's running towards me as well. Yeah. I was just thinking that. That's fine. Oh, gosh. Doesn't reset. No. <laughs> I'm not planning on winning it in this round, so I'm just getting used to it. Yeah. Oh, go back there. Let's try this again. Shuffle to the edge, yeah. Yeah. Shuffle on over. Mm. Hey! Your trouble. You will get some treats. So right to the edge. After she loses six hours of time. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll lose it fast. Okay. See? That didn't work. Maybe I have to be right off the edge. Yeah, try it. Try go really close. Don't think about it. Stop looking at it. Nope. Oh, close. Yeah, I feel like that's tight. Yeah. Tighter than it is on uh, the C64. Try shuffle a little bit more. I can, I can. Yay, dead. <laughs> that's a lot of deaths. <laughs> Okay, puzzle pieces found. Sixteen. Oh, Sixteen. How many? How many puzzle pieces are there to get? Oh, hand? I. Four times, five. How many puzzles? Six. I've forgotten. How many puzzles? Anyone rem remember? Thirty-four. 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 <laughs> puzzle pieces. Because Berto will not. I can't remember. It doesn't say right away here that I can find. Passwords found. Okay, time to give away the coaster. Yay! It's been a while. It has been. Okay, so we've got three uh, coasters to choose walking from. Right, I have to tune it. Mm. Maybe it's 36. 38, 36, 36. So which, okay. do you want to give away one or do you want yeah. the person to choose? Well, I think people should be able to choose so you yeah. can show off the coasters that are up for grabs. Um, so what should we do oh, to give do you it have away? A, do you have a... <laughs> Do you have a factoid that you want someone to guess? Uh, we can have the cat's ages. Uh, How old are they? <laughs> I have to remember that. That's a good one. No, no, no. You I have to guess both too... of them. Um, I thought you would have thought it come up with a Well, we have the bag of, the bag of uh, letters we can use. We could fall back to. Guess a letter? Yep. Do we still have that? I don't know where it is. I'll probably put them put back. Put it back? Yep. Yeah. You're not prepared. <laughs> nope. Um, let's see. We 
could let um could let Sprite decide. <laughs> How is that gonna happen? I don't know. Hey. We could guess the number of things in something. I'm gonna go get the get <laughs> Bag of letters. Bag of letters? Show okay. Off the three coasters. The three coasters. Okay, I can't switch the screen, but I'll do what I can. Okay, we have three coasters. We have the gold and black zero page coaster. Can we see this here? Oh, oh, I can't adjust anything here. Further back, further back. We need the cat cam. I'm not playing with his OBS. He, he's got it all set up. Okay, so we have one. It's gold stars with a zero page in the middle. We'll zoom in in a second. I have a clear holographic one with a black zero page in the middle. And we have a multicolor Daisy ZPH in a square here. We'll uh, zoom into them. Let's go to the cat cam. Cat cam. Okay. All right. Number one. Oh. Okay. Close Quite close. There's the ZPH. There's the ZPH zero page home brew in okay. the middle. Black background gold stars. Talk louder. Talk louder? Yep. So there's a gold star. It's clear. It's got a bit of a holographic sheen to it. You can see that there. Zero page stars in the background. Zero page home blue with black insert. And then this is my crazy daisy one. <laughs> it's all these daisy glitter with a ZPH, multicolor ZPH right in the middle there also has a holographic sheen on the surface. Let's see if I can get that. You can go way closer. No, really? How close do you want me to get? There we go. Like Pretty cool. Yep. Do you have an Etsy shop or the like for any of this stuff? Nope. You only get it for free. You can't pay for it. <laughs> Not yet. This is all, yet. so I'm, I'm making the, um, the awards right now, the zero page awards. So when I have extra resin at the end, I make coasters. I make coasters. So we have a bag of letters here. Don't start guessing yet. Do not <laughs> do it. Don't do it. No guessing. Not yet. I'm going to pick a letter. Yep, the first the person bag. to guess a letter gets to choose the coaster they would like. Yep. And anybody who's uh, won a coaster before. We just ask you to not guess because. Yeah. Don't guess if you've won a coaster. <laughs> Okay. Pick one out of the bag. And when I type go, you start guessing. Is this the whole thing or is this? Yeah, you only have one guess. And if nobody uh, guesses it, we'll do another round of guesses. Is this the same as before? I don't know. The bag was kind of open. Was it in the game? Yeah, it was in the game. Oh, so this is everything. Nope. No, there's not everything. It should, okay. It should be the right ones. Okay. Anyway, it's just one letter. Yeah. Okay. Let's see it. See it? Okay, I've seen the letter. Uh, you only have one guess, and if nobody guesses it, we'll do another round. All right. Um, okay, and go! Da, 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 da. Not yet. Not yet. Yay! yay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Gisberto. Oh yes, good job. <laughs> it was an R. It was an R. Show it to the screen. There we, there go. we go. Congratulations to the <laughs> developer of the yeah. game we're playing. <laughs> so which which coaster would you like? Yes. So show them onto the cat cam I'll put again. Put them back on the cat cam. And Show them and, and tell exactly, like, there's one with, ah, ah, there's a white one. Yes. One with uh, colorful so we'll, daisies. we'll call this one. Well, that's, just that's call that one two, white. And that three. Three. Okay. One yeah. at the top. One. Two on the left. Oop. Only on my hands. Three on the right. Three. So, Gisberto, pick which one. Uh, the one with the square. Okay, so the 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 Daisy one. This Daisy one, one. Very nice choice. Good choice. Good choice. It's my my the newest one I made actually. So I will put your name on this coaster, and I will get your uh, address uh, through private message on the Atari Age forums.
Yay! Congratulations! <laughs> a wonderful game and a coaster. Yeah, you get a uh, uh, reward for making this awesome game. Excellent. So, uh, do we want to uh, feed the cats right now? Is if anyone? anybody wants to have some cat bedding, a, a cat bedding, uh, or session? we can give them some catnip, or we can give it's them, yeah, meow. It's treat time. Yay! Thank you, Gamma Dev. Thank you, Gamma Dev. Let's get everything ready for the the treats. Are you hungry for treats, cats? Yes. Hi. <laughs> Puss and bets. Puss and bets time. Meow, 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 meow. Yes, yes, kittens. We're going to start the bedding. Okay, so if anybody has not played this before. Oh, we will still be playing. We'll be playing yeah. after this. No, we're not we're, done yet. Oh, we're not far from done. Yes. Um, so, <laughs> what you can do is pick one of these cats to bet on. This is Sprite, the black cat. He usually wins. Um, but Atari has been doing very well. He's the gray cat. Ooh. And what you do is you pick how much you want to bet. And you can bet as little as 10, I believe. Uh, or all the way. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, come here. Or down. as much as you want. <laughs> or as much as you have. Kitten, come in here. Ring the bell. Come on. They're so impressive. They're very silly. <laughs> And then you can pick which cat you think will win. Yes. And then you can pick which by I, how much you can pick how much you can they win by. Yes. Either one to two points yeah. or three plus points. Yeah. And it's the predict button. Yep, click on the predict button at the top and of the chat. And then you can place your bet. So it's an over under bet. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Meh, meh. Let's see how things are going. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, mostly Heavily on Sprite. weighted on Sprite. Heavily. Sprite has been doing pretty well. He's been doing very Although, well. Although Atari won by over three points a couple of shows ago. Yeah, so he so, does mm. sometimes pull it together, yeah. which is really good. So. Oh, now we've got uh, oh, some on Atari few, one and little two. A little bit of uh, betting on Atari there. And, yep. and somebody could, if you're not sure, or if you want to maybe oh, it's get bouncing a bunch, out. There you can just go. throw an Atari 3 Plus the last second. We've got yep. about 20 seconds left. You don't have to bet a ton. If you just nope. have a few bits from watching it today, you can throw 10, I think, is the minimum. Bet, yes, so. I think it's 10. Yeah, it's pretty good. S especially if you want to uh, go all in on, or to, to kind of get the there whole you pool. Go. Someone put, put, puts a, uh, 100? throws 100 down. Yep. Yep. I think you can only bet once. I think you can. Yeah. You can't put multiple bets, so you and get one shot. And we're done. Thank you, everyone, for betting. And bets Does are it over. Does say how many people in total? No, you can't tell right away. Okay, so let me get ready. These guys, they... Are you ready? The moment James starts streaming, they start to get excited about they treats. Do. They, they hang around the office. They sit here the whole time. They're very, very funny cats. Are you ready? Very funny cats. Okay, and here no. we go. Who's going to hit it first? Oh, Atari in the lead. Oh, boy. That's interesting. Sprite close behind. Maybe Atari's eager today. Eager for eager for winning. Harder. Harder. There you go. Oh, there's Atari. Sprite. Sprite tied up 2-2. Two -two. Atari taking the lead. Exactly, Dan. Oh, he's wandering. He's, he's not getting it. Atari stays in the lead. It's now 3-2. And, and Sprite. Sprite is bringing up the rear. He's tied it up 3-3. Can Atari keep his lead? Oh, that's a soft touch. Oh, and it's Sprite. Sprite. And Atari's confused. He tried to go after and steal the treat, hit, which hit, is hit the bell. very bad. Oh, oh Sprite, Sprite is now at 5-3. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. That's not you. There, there you go. go. There's five, Atari. 5-4. Sprite's still in the lead. Oh, Eddie's. Sprite. He hit that hard that time. Yes, a very strong Smacked rating it from hard. Sprite. And oh, Sprite's Sprite got again. it again. 7-4. Oh, you have to hit it harder. There we go. 7-5 for Sprite. Sprite's thinking about ringing the wrong bell. No, he's backing up. No, he's confused. He's soft touching it. He's, he's not looking at the bell. He's not there, there you he's go. He's got it. It's now 8-5. Eight, 8-6 eight, for, for Sprite. Oh, there's a bit of a... There's a little bit. I don't know what no, that no, is. No, no, it's okay. It's a distraction. Yep. Oh, oh he's no, gone for Sprite, it. Sprite went Atari. for it. The Ring the bell, Atari. Come on, catch up. Come on. He's going to get game point. Oh, there we Atari. Go. Eight, seven. Sprite and Atari. Atari's catching up, but oh, I don't Sprite. think... Oh, Sprite. Oh, game point it's for Sprite. It's now game point. Can he get one more? 
Can you get one more? No. Oh, oh it's three Sprite points. Got it. Sprite. Oh, okay. Ten to seven. And a few extra treats. Consolation prizes. That there you go. On the edge between two <laughs> different uh, possibilities. Can you open that? Thank you. More in my hand. I have to clean my hands. These yep. are really dirty, these treats. <laughs> stinky treats. Stinky, Ooh, stinky. Get that one. Yeah. All right. So, whoever bet on three plus is going to get all the points. Yes. Let's see who got it. Let me award the points. So it was Sprite three plus. Boom. Let's check it out. Sprite three plus. Carl G hey, Carl. splits 4,000 points with congratulations. <laughs> Uh, splits 4,000 points with Car uh, with LYI Salmos, a Yay! new name. Thank you for Good watching. Job. Good job, Carl G and LYI Salmos. Oh, they triggered the uh, congratulations. Yay! Excellent. Okay, now let's continue on with the game. Just a slight little diversion to keep the cats happy. Yeah, they get, they get whiny because they know what's going on. They <laughs> Oh, oh, the Hall of Fame is a little filled with garbage. That's okay. All right, let's try this again. Play game? Yep. If we don't get to the puzzle, well, did you say? Oh, we'll get to the puzzle. We'll get Love to it. the puzzle. Love it. Oh, oh. that's a fast in. Have we seen the ball yet? Uh, nope. So, uh, thank you for following TJ. Glad you're enjoying watching. Oh, oh, <gasps> oh I wasn't expecting that. You go to that one in the middle bottom. It doesn't mm, go there. That's a that's safe true. spot. It's hard to get there. Oh, now he's slower. Hmm. Is he? he was is he slower. faster? He was faster. Swear. Really? Go out of the room and come back in? Nope. He's no. slower now. Really? Left, left, left. Just all the way to... No, the... I'm not doing that. But that's a safe spot. No, <laughs> I'm not doing that. Okay. Dangerous. Just playing it dangerous. I know how to do this game. <laughs> no, let me tell you. A worse player. That's how you do it. Get that printer. <laughs> Get that huge plotter on wheels. Very athletic. See? That's an interesting robot. Oh, I see. He stops and zaps. Yes. He has a pattern. That's a that's a rare robot, isn't it? You don't see too many ones that stop and zap. There you go. And that's nice. how you do it. Of course I died already. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, once. Oh well. It's once. It is memorizing. Oh, this one. Oh, is there a Nothing. There's nothing no, but, uh, but a pit. Isn't there supposed to be a big ball in this one too? Um, I believe so. It's missing a ball. I think that one has a big, a big uh, bowling ball that comes after you. Maybe. Okay, I have um, some information from the developer about uh, his de his choice of choosing yeah. a possible mission. Okay. And, and um, some development notes. Ah. So, I, so I asked, why impossible mission? Yeah. Uh, why make a port of Impossible Mission for the Atari Lynx? Why not? It's probably the most important missing Lynx title. Impossible Mission was an iconic title of my youth. I was born in 1971. Weren't we all? <laughs> all around that area. Um, people that watch this. I played it a lot. Uh, I played it and a lot of the other Epics titles in my C64. I played a lot of Epics titles as well. They made such high quality games for the C64. I remember I played Impossible Mission only for a short time. It was too difficult for me at the time, but I always had the desire to play it again someday. Some years ago, I started porting Barbarian, another famous Epics title. But at some point, uh, with the help of Retro Guru teams, it became Starblader, which we've played on the show. Uh, I'm very proud of it, but it's only an homage to the original game and to the Star Wars saga too, but not a close port. It is a brand new game with new graphics, a great soundtrack composed by Micra, and all the code written from scratch by me. Uh, 
when at the end of 2023 I returned to code for the Lynx after a pause of two years, I decided to port another great title of the past, but this time without changing its look. My first choice was Prince of Persia. That's a big undertaking. Uh, I found there is an open source remake available, but soon I discovered it is only a remake of the engine and it needs the original files of the levels to work. Uh, usually I don't need to have the code of the game to remake it, but I need the other resources, so I could not find them uh, online for Prince of Persia. Um, it was recent-ishly remade for the Atari 8-bit, so you might want to contact um, the people who made it for the uh, Atari 8-bit. Um, my second choice was Impossible Mission, so I started looking online for available resources. I found there's a JavaScript remake of the game. The code is obfuscated, but the graphics and the sampled sounds of the games are available. Much easier than repping them from the C64 ROM. This was the start of the project. Oh, Gisberto says no ball here yet. Okay. So that makes sense. Uh, coding this game required a lot of energy, and to make the game as close as possible to the C64 version, I adopted some uncommon strategies. For my port makes an extensive use of the collision detection natively offered by the Suzy chip. That is very ro a rare coding strategy in modern Lynx homebrews. Oh, really? I think it's kind of um, the same for uh, the 2600. You can use hardware collisions on the 2600, which I use for my game. But a lot of them just use software collision because it gets complex sometimes. Oh, yeah. You can jump over him when he's coming this way. Zappy zap. Zap, zap, zap. So it's funny because a lot of these levels have multiple versions. Um, right. And because of the robots? So this room, I think, I'm not sure. I'm sure the programmers know this, but the rooms have kind of often two versions of the robot patterns oh. so there's often an easier and a harder one and if you get a harder one sometimes it's like impossible to do without freezing i mean yeah, yeah. I, I should i should look into um the, the details it? of it yeah Somebody because knows. You, you um because you can get lucky with a run and a run's a lot easier because you get the easier uh, versions of certain rooms right yeah uh, now that this game is almost completed, I can say that there was no technical reason not to make this game in the first years, available in the first years of the Lynx release. Uh, I think it was a marketing decision, probably because Impossible Mission was already available for a lot of other platforms, and Atari wanted to make the Lynx uh, to appear something new compared to previous consoles. Uh, what else could I say about the Lynx remake? Testing it, I found it was already too hard for me, like the original one was on the C64. This means two things to me. I am still very bad at video games, and the remake is good. <laughs> now let's see what other people think of it. Robot behavior is random every new game, he says. Yeah. So I don't know if he means random as in every single robot is chosen randomly. I don't know. Or each room has like two <sighs> sets of random choices of robots, or three sets. So obviously it's easier to program just saying, there's a robot, it's robot six. There's a robot, it's robot 10. Mm. Rather than this room has, is assigned kind of robots based on the room. No, they are based on the room. No, I'm talking about this remake. Well. We don't know how he's programmed this remake. It could be all randomized robots. No, they're not. No. They, they follow the same patterns. Okay. So they you follow the same patterns. You recognize I recognize the, pattern? the patterns. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, you didn't say that. Yeah. Yeah, no, they. I definitely recognize that they, they follow similar patterns. Ah! Like, there's certain... Like, I can't jump over this robot. It's too low. Uh, there's, oh, the bottom one, yeah. I think I can jump over. Ah, he moves faster than I'm really anticipating. Really fast. Yeah. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> you knew he was I thought I was you. no, I, I, I thought I was gonna fall two levels. Oh, I see. Really quick. Really he quick. He moves a, a little bit faster than. I love those. 
robots that are like, hey, then he goes, hey, yeah, hey, you're still there, Zach. Yeah. I love. <laughs> so I he love, almost forgets about you. I love for a the second. patterns. Yeah, there's really a good set of patterns. Does that go just down one? Yeah, it doesn't go up. So we have to go from here. Oh, yeah. Ah, my timing's off. They move a little bit faster, and my jump is a little bit slower, mm. which again is not a criticism of the game. It's fantastic. It plays so well. Yeah. Um, but it it just takes a little bit of getting used to. <laughs> Search that speaker. Um, so I have some more notes um, from the forum uh, during the development of the game, which will answer some more questions. <laughs> Not fast enough. So David Calgary uh, asks, so the synthesized speech was ripped directly from the C64 version. I, it kind of went over that in his notes. Uh, speech and graphics are from the JavaScript port that is online. They are ripped from the C64 game. Code is mine. Also resizing the graphics to half resolution is by me and it's a lot of work, he says. Uh, when the game will be complete, I'll see if it's possible to acquire rights for a physical release on the Lynx, like other people did for the remake on st on Steam. So since there's some people that recently got um, permission from Epix, or whoever owns Epix now, um, to release this officially, there's a, a larger than zero chance that this could be... Oh, that's quick. Whoa, that was very close. There's a, a decent chance that he'll be able to get this officially licensed oh, and really? stamp of approval. That's yeah. awesome. Which would be amazing. Um, January 7th update. It's possible to search the rooms now, but there's nothing to find yet. January 21st, all the rooms, the robots and the furniture are now in, now in place. Now I have to add robot movements and the pieces of the puzzle hidden in the furniture. Then I'll add the rooms with the uh, tones to align and the puzzle solving code, which we haven't uh, encountered the massive keyboard yet. Uh, not the, yet. The big hopefully, Simon hopefully game. I can live long enough to not ah like that. Yeah. yeah. For, you forget the pattern sometimes. Nope. Oh, uh, nope. Not fast oh, enough. Nothing. Okay, I have to fall. You could fall down to that. Um, yeah. Cigarette machine. This one. Is that what it is? I always thought it was a piano. I think it's a cigarette machine. But it could be a piano. <laughs> this uh, guy moves really fast. Whoa. In the title screen, I added some animations. Uh, for now, only a placeholder, a chipper conversion of the oh. Amiga Mod Tune action for you. Probably this will change in the future because I don't know if I'll be able to get in touch with the composer to ask permission. It's been replaced. Um, I'm trying to stay as close as possible to the original C64 game for the moment. Feedback is welcome. Uh, Xylon Bane asks, this guy's sprite has some serious thick thighs and his biceps are bigger than his head. <laughs> Uh, Nop90 says, yes, he spends most of his existence making jumps in the air and in the free time makes does bodybuilding. That's why he is ah, too soon. a very thick boy. <laughs> he does do a lot of, of flips, so yeah. I would expect very strong quads. Yeah, and, and he definitely does. Very strong glutes as well. Nice. James, what C64 emulator do you recommend? The one I mm. use, let me look it up. I feel like that's not gonna work without me. Is a uh, vice. There we go, Carl G also said it. Don't body shame the sprites. <laughs> no, we're, com yes. we're complimenting yes. the sprites. He's, he's a strong guy. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. So Vice, it's free to download <laughs> and it's very, very good. Um, you could also grab the C64 Mini, which I believe has this built in. Or maybe not. I meant to add it. Yeah, C64 Mini. Um, and you can uh, put an SD card in it and um, use USB joysticks and uh, hook it up to your TV. That works very well as well. 
Uh -huh. I believe it's quite compatible. Do so I can control this. It's it's just the uh, computer that's the problem, right? Yes. Can you turn it up just a touch? Yes. You will need to know that. I'm only going to play it once because I'm. She's very good at it. It'll no, I'm not. <laughs> Let's Oops. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's not Simon. No, it's you have just to do it in ascending low order. to high. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, that's fine. <laughs> You're fine. She can complete the game without putting the robots to sleep. It just or takes up time. Resetting. The, the well, no, platforms. you get quite a few along the way. Yeah. I I do need to. No code room yet. We need some music. What does that uh, mean? Ah. That was terrible. What's the code room in the game? Code room? Yeah. It says no code room yet. Code room. No. Nope. It, it looked like it worked. Could you not hear it? Yeah. Yeah. I could hear it. No. That's, that's very annoying. Yep. Yeah, have fun, Polygox. You can play the original one and, and uh, then play this one as well. Yeah, that was the code room, and it played the tones. Maybe it didn't give you codes? I don't know. Seemed to work. Um, <sighs> February 2nd, puzzle pieces, random generation done. Puzzle piece of random position oh in the God. furniture, done. Password, random placement in the furniture, done. February 10th, today started coding the Palm PC code. Now it shows the number of password collected to snooze the robots and reset the platform. It's also possible to scroll the collected pieces of the password. The timer is not activate yet. It only shows fixed numbers. In the room are missing only the robot movement and the flying balls. Overall, I think the game is completed to 80%. March 4th update. Password puzzle code is almost complete. Now it is possible to place the collected pieces from the left row on the four slots of the right of the Palm PC, flip them horizontally or vertically, change the color, and clear a slot. Mass ma matching pieces no. can be aggregated. Uh, <laughs> he's a zapper. He is. What kind of zapper is he? And not this one. That one just looks at you. Just it's like, don't touch me. You'll get zapped. Kittens. Oh, you found his lair. Yep. Oh, it doesn't stop. Oh, it does stop. Okay. I think he will zap, though. Yep. Okay. Does he stop and zap? Oh, perfect. Search that waterbed. Oh, see, I'm not Way moving. Way too long. It's it's the joystick. I'm blaming the joystick. Uh -huh. I am. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm accidentally hitting, hitting the angles, I think. Nothing in there. Of course. Of course. Always the always, hard one. Always, always so nothing there. that's the end one. Yes. Fourth in, second up. Second up, yeah. One, two, three. It's on the third column on the right. Not third column. Yeah, it is. One, look, two, three, four. Look, look at One, where the... Two, I care three, about the four. elevators. Third oh, elevator third on the elevator, right. elevator, sure. Not the column. <laughs> <laughs> That's a silly counting method. Oh, we go slow to the right, fast to the left. I wonder how many robot variations there are. A lot. Uh, March 5th. All the puzzle solving and password discovery code is complete and works like a charm. The only missing feature of the Palm computer are the undo button. Easy to do. Two, phone call. A little bit longer, but not hard to, to implement. Oh, I forgot. What's the phone call? I can't remember that one. I think this guy, his behavior changes. Oh, when he sees you, he's fast. Oh, boy, I didn't see oh. that. Oh. Ah. Does he zap? Oh, my God. What the <laughs> hell? How did I manage that? <laughs> did it at the exact wrong time and the exact he wrong placement. He doesn't zap, but I don't want... I don't. But he's fast to get you. There you go. Whoa. No! Oh, what a time. Ah, oh. It's the... Joystick. I'm not hitting up. I'm not hitting the ups. Ugh. 
Nothing here, of course. <laughs> always the hard ones. Always a nothing there. The ones you die five times on is always nothing. Didn't make it to the top of that last elevator. <laughs> Carl G says, we're at the blame the controller segment yes, of the show. Exactly. Tanya <laughs> blames the controller. That's how this game is well, played. Yeah. Hour 20 in, it's time to blame the controller because we're not winning. Oh boy. Oh. oh, I didn't think he was going to pause. Controller ah, did that? It was 100% the controller's fault. <laughs> Controller automatically pressed down for yeah. some reason. Hey, troublemaker. None of that. How are you supposed to... Oh, I see. Oh, I did it again. He pauses. He he zaps twice. It's oh. okay, I got it. It's all that matters now. <laughs> <sighs> oh, it's so tight in the timing. So tight in the timing. Are you going to zap both sides? No, that's good. <laughs> zap zero sides. <sighs> Mm. Just jump over them, right? Mm, it's all about, it's all pixel perfect placement. You know, you can play the next round. We'll see how far <laughs> you get. Not very far. I'm okay at this game. Far from good. Ah, 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 ah. It's such a good game, though. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Pro tip avoid the electricity. Oh, yeah. that's what you're That's been how doing you wrong. play it. Sorry, I was, you've I've been, been doing it all wrong this whole time. <laughs> oh, yeah, the robots are very deadly. Does this one usually have a have a big, gigantic bowling ball, too? Oh, yeah, you I might think you it have does. to squish it down. Squish it down. And it appears back at the top. Yeah, all the balls aren't uh, fully implemented. Mm. You can jump over that. Okay. There we go. Easily. Easily. Well, I can if I time it right. Now the game can be <laughs> played completely, but without robots. So I'm going to make a full run test to check everything is working fine. So far, it seems the only thing I broke updating the game is the starting voice. Tonight, I'll debug it. <sighs> Next and last big thing missing is the robot animation. Then the game will be completed. But I'm going to add other optional things uh, to the game before the release. Today, uh, March 6th, today I added the final score screen. March 8th, I started coding the robot movements. March 19th, spring update. A um, port is almost complete. It only misses one robot pattern out of the 20 of the original game. So 20 different types of robot patterns. Nice. And the drone ball is present in some rooms. Now I'm optimizing the code to free memory, uh, free the memory I need to add the last things. Can't remember. Nope. Oh, yeah, he does have. Okay. March 26th, first drone, drone room completed. Other five missing. I also added the code to use the EEPROM saves. March 28th, now the game has an original title screen tune from Micur. There we go. Where did you learn to somersault? <laughs> zappy, he's zappy. I know. He's an angry, angry robot. Oh. This, I don't know. I think I just have to get it from this side. Is he going to get me, though? He, uh, I am going to say uh, yes. Oh, it's it's going to be close. I think you're going to have to be right on the edge. Just try it. Let's see. Like right there. Oh, he stops. Perfect. Perfect timing. Nice. You can put him to sleep if you want. Oh, that was close. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. No, it's all pixel perfect jumping and spacing of this game. Yeah. And I think you said it, it's done by hardware. It's fantastic, by the way. It it plays so well. Yeah. Hardware collisions, so that um, Let's see what's up on here. One, two, if you touch a robot, it's because you actually touched it by one pixel. So lots of rooms. Oh, there's one, one on that side. Let's yeah. do that side first. Lots of rooms. How is my time? Can you hit the button? Yep. I just want to see the time. 4.59, so still you've lost lots an hour. Of time. Yeah. Oh, that's still lots of time. Okay. I haven't died too, too much. Love it. The voice is the best. translates perfectly to the links. The sample player is really good. No, I don't like him. <laughs> oh, I bet he zaps at the end. No, you're ri you're already close. Oh, that one below? Yeah. 100%. He's a zapper. I don't know. We'll He's a zappy boy. Just have to test him out. Just wait. No. Oh, he follows you above? Yeah, he does. 
and he's fast. Oh. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, I should have just waited to yes. see. Yeah. Uh, I just don't trust I don't him. think he's out. I think he does. You think he still is out? I think he does. Okay. Think. Run! Nope. Good. He's Perfect. just fast. Uh, not too fast. Uh. I just That's I don't like out. getting so close to them. Does he turn around? Nope. No. No, no. He's on a pattern. Perfect. When they are on a pattern, they stick to a pattern. If they're Search moving the with ah, <laughs> if they're moving without a pattern, then then you know. Man, I don't like this guy. He's not that fast. Go stick your hand in that toilet. Search that toilet. Anything in there? Search it good. <laughs> is the garbage can separate? Yes, it is. I, I remember that. It used to be the garbage cans always had all the stuff. <laughs> Sometimes double jumping gets you there faster, too. Mm. All right. Still dying too much, though. Yes, you are. I am dying too much. Way too much. Oh, this is a fun one. Oh, this one's so uh, tough. It's so terrible. This one is the upper guy. The guy right at the top. I mean, you can technically win this game without getting every single thing. Yeah. You could assume that one is empty, but you have to remember uh, that you didn't get it. And if you don't get it and you get to the end and you don't have the puzzle piece, you You're know like, exactly where it is. So. Well, if you remember. Because it doesn't mark the rooms. At least those guys are fixed. Pattern. I think you can jump up to the left, right? Yep. Ah! Oh, I went through. I'm going to have to reset it there. Yeah. Yeah, you can. You have to step and jump, and and then you can do it. Mm. But uh, there's very. It's very specific. I remember you playing this level on the C64 version, and it, you had a, quite a bit of timing trouble. Because oh, it's you, just because hard. Because you go through the floors if you don't time it exactly right. Oh no. Okay. Oh okay. Oh, perfect. Is it? No, oh, no, it's, it's not. not perfect. You're going to have to snooze those robots, I think. He goes to that. I don't think there's a way to do it. You, you have to... You have to... Um, snooze. Yeah. Because you can't jump over them because there's not a good... Doop. No, and, and his zapper would go all the way to the edge if like, he's on the you left. Can, you can jump to here, but you can't get past him. You can't jump over them. Yeah. Yeah. Fall down. There. Snooze those robots and get up there quick. It's really hard to get up there, though. Really quick. The only way to get up there is the route I just took. But you can't kill yourself by touching the robots in this version. No, but so. it doesn't matter. It's it's the timing of it. It sucks. I think yeah. I have to reset the platform. Oh. Quick, get up there. Go, 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 go. Go, go. Up. <laughs> this is the stop running against the wall. <laughs> Yay! And done. Yay. Takes two codes. It does. Sometimes it does. Yeah. It's. I am. <laughs> that, if that you gives need you, them, they're there. That gives you codes. Right? That gives you lift platforms and robot freezes if you need them, but you don't right. necessarily need to do them. No. Sleepy robots. I like sleepy robots. Careful. Oh no, this guy's bad. One below. Ugh. Think he will be? I don't need to get to the bottom. Think do he's a I? fast zapper? Uh, no. Whoa! You can test that guy out. See what he does. Yeah! I, uh, I knew it. I knew it. I feel like freezing him. should have tested him. him first. I feel like freezing him. Do I have one? Yeah. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> not, in the, not in the mood for your shenanigans, Jumping, jumping back and forth. Oh, I got another one. Well, that's something. Yeah, evens out. Not in the mood. Okay, where was... Oh, that was a crossover. Oh, please don't tell me that was the only crossover point. That's a horrible one to get it to get The one you were just at? Yeah. Uh, that's I can't the remember. keyboard. Oh, yeah. 
What was the bottom one? Do you not remember now? Yes. Wasting time. Halfway through. Dying is the wasting time. Nope. nope. That That's might it. be my only crossover what was the top point. One? I can't remember. Gamma Dev, where did you learn to somersault? <laughs> this is what I imagine goes on inside the Tesla factory. <laughs> <laughs> Nonsense like this. Yes, I agree. Fighting robots. I feel like Elon Musk is the right age to be like, ooh, Elvin Adam Bender. Life goals. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> nope. nope. Ah, damn one. it, that one's hard. It's really hard. I can just temporarily it disable just, the robots. And I guess so. Go for it. There's very specific. You're going to have to get back through it, too. Back through it. Oh, true. To get back to the room. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, it's you want to get him on the turn. I have to follow him. Yeah, it's the only way to do it. Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> and on this the guy's turn. even worse. Is he slower? Yeah, look how slow he is. Too early. Too early! Ah. <laughs> he didn't even make it to the end. Oh. So he, double he doesn't go to the end. Okay. He double pauses. Mm. Some of them do that. I mean, it's it's. I think it's quite brilliant what they've built into this game. Yep, the robot. It's, there's so much. movements is, is really good. Oh, ho, ho, tricky. <laughs> oh, careful. Can go down one more. No, I can't. Oh, he just stands there. Oh, no, I have to. Oh, God, I don't know if I can do that. I don't think you can jump over that guy. Oh, it's too close. Oh, my God. You have to jump over. He just rushes you and then jump. Or does he rush you again? He doesn't oh. see you immediately, so that's perfect. There. There you go. No. Oh! Oh, you have to do it again. Then you can go down. This well, it's not brutal. too bad. You just have brutal. to remember you don't yeah, pause. Yeah, not die. And not die. This yes. is why. This is why you pause robots. <laughs> well, the pause doesn't last very long. Oh man! And then he goes do. Nice. Oh, run! Oh. <sighs> that is not a fun room. And that's one of the rooms where the pattern that you get affects mm. how easy the room is. Yeah. So how long do you usually wait to solve the puzzle? The whole map? You do the whole map first? I usually try to get about down to the last one or two. I mean, because we have to control it there, I'm not looking at it. And yeah. I have not played this game in a long time. So a lot of my... Left. Uh, nice. But this I usually step over, I think. I don't think you can. I think you I have can. You to do a big jump. Oh, I, you, have to you go don't right want to be too. To the edge. No, it's you the opposite. It. It's the opposite. Right to the edge and you fall. Oh. Yeah. What? Eep. My timing is really bad. No, if you're right. Oh, that was the end. Wow, I died a lot. Yes, Your turn. You did. <laughs> Hall of Fame. I got a lot of the puzzle pieces, though. That's good. Did not make the Hall of Fame. <laughs> That's a... Well, there's a 5,000 there. Not sure what's going on there. Yeah, I don't think the Hall of Fame's quite done yet. No. Good luck to me. We should have done the puzzle. Well, we should yeah. have shown the puzzle before uh, you died. I can make it through and I'll, I'll play the puzzle. Oh my god, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm not even lucky. It's hard. A lot of this is memorization of rooms. <gasps> oh my god. Jump, jump, jump. You can jump to the left. Yep, you're good there. You're safe there. It is a fun game. Good job. Oh, 
Oh, what? Oh, how come I didn't go on that platform? Because it depends on the type of step. There's a big step and a, and a short step. Uh, Depending on where you are on the platform, so you'll make picky. a big or a short step. Right. Like, if you do it right from the edge, you don't always take a big step. It's kind of funny. There you go. Good job. There you go. I'm not completely useless at this game. No, no, no. You're doing very well. <laughs> Um, I should go to this room, right? As I encounter them? I just, yeah, I just take every room as it comes. Yeah. Um, you just, I just don't cross over elevators. I always do a whole elevator shaft before yes, I cross over. Yes, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, he turns and he gets wider. Mm. <laughs> he does get wider. Um, you're better off dropping down. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then you can ah uh, no. Boo. Short step versus long step. Good job. Thank you. Mm, now you. Oh <laughs> God. <laughs> oh. That's okay. No, that's good. You can also go up and down. Oh yeah. If platform. you're really scared, right. yeah. there you go. And then the candy. So what you want to do is, is make a hole so you can get to the left side of him. Oh, okay. So go up. back up that platform, or at least this is the easiest I find it. And then go down on the other one. And then go, yeah, and then drop down when it times out well. Watch, ah. watch him. Ah. <laughs> watch him. Ah, Zappy. Yeah. Zappy McZapperson. Okay. There. There you go. Uh, that I find the easiest. You can't get, well, you can't get back up, I guess. Yeah, you get, I do remember a whole summer <laughs> playing this game. Avoiding like, the light of the outdoors. Literally, <laughs> I think it was the entirety of the year I was like 10. Yeah. And I played this game for a whole summer. No Barbie dolls for you. No Barbie dolls. It was a great game. It is. And I did win it and I won it, I think two or three times. Yeah. It took me a while to get to that point though. Definitely one of my favorite games. And I, think, I think it's the complexity of it and the yes. memorization. And it's hard enough that you want to win it. You want to keep trying. You can jump over him. I, I'm fine. That works too. I mean, he's slow coming back. So, what are you? Turny, turny zappy. He just goes back and forth. Okay. Yeah. Just I think I can do it. Search in time. There you go. No trouble. Who are you, huh? Hmm? Who are you? Should have jumped. Yeah, jumping does. Should have jumped. Jumping does speed it up sometimes if you're lucky. It's fast when he sees me. Yeah. Jump. Whee! Um. Okay, done that. Oh, that's it. Uh. Okay, so this is a hard one to cross. I yeah. can't remember the upper one. You have to jump over him. You can't make it to the bottom. Oh, this guy. No. That's okay. Go up. Oh. Yeah. This works too. So then you have this. Oh, I can go down one. You can go down one. And then just good. the speedy guy. Just be careful. Jump again. Fine. Right, or you can run. Not too much backseating here. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> shutting up. Just a little bit of backseating. <laughs> I love It's fine. Like, Give it to me. <laughs> Give me that controls. You don't know what you're uh, doing. Okay. The next round we play. Yes. Either if you get if halfway. If I get far enough. We'll start. We'll we'll play with the puzzles. Yeah. I have to keep an eye on the time, but. Um, ah, he's fast. He's slow left, fast right. Yeah. There you go. It's gonna be a pain. So slow. I think I'm just gonna walk in for the desk one. I love I love this game a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I love this game. It's ju it's just the perfect blend of platforming and puzzle. And you and like timing. the puzzle. I like and well, I love the platforming. I love the platforming too because I know the platforming pretty well. So Yeah, you know the timing. 
because even the platforming is uh, is a puzzle. Yeah. I I never see them uh, halfway mid turned around. Usually that doesn't happen. So you, you want to try and get that on the back end of him. Mm, yeah. There. Like that. Yeah. That's yeah. much easier. It's weird that I remember all of these rooms. Well, it's ingrained <laughs> They're buried in, your brain. in my memory somewhere. Yeah. Got Easter colors there. Purple yeah. yellow. Hi, oh, yeah. kitty. Oh, you're so soft. His head is so soft. <laughs> Oh! Oh! You! Yeah, he's What am I going to do? Just drop down. Don't zap me. So the bottom one and Ew. the second one from the top, you cannot jump over them. Just so you're aware. You can jump over this guy, but you can't jump over the bottom one. Okay. Yeah. And you can't jump over the second one down. Roofs too. So you have to, to you have to approach it from the left side. Now is he zappy, though? No, he's doing his own patrol. Yeah. Come on! Yeah. That's good times. Oh, it's going to kill me again. Yep. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Oh, he is, is, he is zapping. It's okay. You No, you, you just appro you have to approach e each side. Yeah. Yeah, there. He's not coming for you. And... Nope. <laughs> that was a fast. bad move. Yeah. Even if he was a slow robot, it's a bad move. Okay. You have to jump over that. Yeah. Oh. Or not. Jump, jump. Jump, jump. On the top guy? Yeah. Really? Yeah. There you go. Okay. And then walk over to... Can you? I don't know. Oh! I have to get that. You're not supposed to be able to do that, but that's okay. What? I don't think. On that platform? No. You no, know, because you walked through it. Oh no! There. He he allows he's he allows that. Oh okay. Yeah, in this game, he's he's fine with it. Uh, I mean, it's not a big deal. <laughs> it no, doesn't it, change it the game. It really part. it only changes this. Yeah. Which is who cares? Hey, rendered ghost. Hey, rendered ghost. Oh, Thomas as well. Hey, hey. Thomas. Oh, oh, get it, okay. get it, get it. Yeah. Oh, he stops. Yeah, okay, he stops. Good. Um. Okay. He can go up one. Oh, right. Yeah, good. and then you can you have to jump, jump. It's very hard. Oh, no. no. It was too far. I jumped too far. Oh, well, out of here. I just woke up and ZBH is on. Hey, Chitlitla. That's always a good thing, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> Welcome to the show, Chitlitla. Oh, candy machine. It's a candy. stopper. Those exactly. are my favorite. The candy machines in the bathrooms. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> They're unique. Yeah. Long elevator ride. Okay. Uh, one of these had a crossover? The candy machine did. Did the bottom did one? It? I can't remember, but yeah, that one does. Was it an easy one? Uh, Let's see. It was fine. Is it straight across the bottom? No, this one's fine. Yeah, these guys aren't too. Not. I don't know about that upper guy, though. Yeah. I would, I would cross yeah. over. Oh, there. yeah. Because he doesn't zap. That guy might zap. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's done twice. I've gone a couple times. James is uh, running through it. We're going to try and get some puzzles in if we can get further enough in that we have a decent amount. Yeah. Puzzling to do. Tanya didn't win. Not yet. No, I made it decently across. I was dying on a few of the levels. So that has an across. Pretty easy one. <gasps> Too early. Step and jump. You need to step and jump to get to that. Oh, that one? Yeah. Oh, to can get, I? Yeah, you can step and jump. No, not from the, not from that edge. There. You don't want to be right at the edge. There? Yeah. To get to the yeah. dresser? So, yeah, step and jump. Oh, that worked. That worked. Usually it doesn't, but uh, <laughs> you didn't need to step, so that was good. Oh, step then jump. Step and jump. It gives you a little bit more distance. Zappy? Probably. Are you a zapper? Ah! Yay! Good job! I'm not terrible at this game. You Just you're slightly down. better. 
Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're a lot better, actually. I do remember some of the patterns. Uh, it's my favorite room. This one? The bathroom room. I don't know room. why I like the bathroom room. <laughs> it's always been one of my favorites. You're not zappy. He might be. Uh, zappy? Do some no, of them rush fine. you and then zap? Some, uh, or do not they usually. always show their zappiness? Sometimes they show their zappiness right away. Sometimes they go to the end and zap. Oh, why? I know. I know. When <laughs> I thought he was going to be turning faster. None of these guys appear to be zappy, so that's good. No, they're calm. Didn't have the budget. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this guy. You can jump over him. Yeah, but I need to get both of these. Yeah, things. You just, it's all about timing, but or you can freeze them. Uh, you can kind of do it. Uh, it's oh god damn it! <laughs> There's Cutting a lot of swearing close. in this game. <laughs> That's all I have to say. There is a lot of swearing. Yeah. Time to do the garbage check. Ah. <laughs> yeah, ah. it's easy to get spooked. Ah. Ah! You got a freezing. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Next one. You're almost there. Oh, ah! it was a puzzle beast, so it was worth it. It was worth it in the end. Yep. Oh, he speeds up a little. Yeah. He's, ah, he's... He speeds up towards you. Whee! Hello, everybody. Oh, is it like a certain amount of time everybody's coming Oh, if you want home? swearing, then get rendered ghost playing. <laughs> oh, does he swear a lot when he's playing? Need to watch his show more. Okay, let's get that speaker. Very scary. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna zap you. That one on the I, I I suspect. I suspect, but you can try. Run! Nope. Oh he's okay. Run! Ah! <laughs> okay, he's fast towards me at least. You can drop down. I always find dropping down as he's coming back. If you go up and drop down, but it's but you're gonna have to jump back and forth. Yeah, it's gonna no be way. hard. I'm not gonna do that. He's gonna rush towards you from the other. Yeah. No, oh, maybe not. He's he is rushing easier. towards me. It's just I jumped before he started moving. That's why he didn't rush. <sighs> ah, I didn't mean so to get, do that. You can still you can still get the upper ones there. Oh, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Zap. Yeah. Zap. Little zap. Nope. Thank you. I still have to do this with the stupid lamp. Oh boy. It's hard, that lamp. I have to follow him. I got it? No. Yeah, you did. Not entirely, but uh, it was jumped. nothing there. Should have jumped. Okay, there's a crossover there, which is not a hard one. So no. So I'll go for that one. Unless there's an easier one. I was always wonder if a demake of a game for the 2600 is possible. This one might be doable without too much flicker. Somebody, we, if you rewind back, if you can, there is a link to the 2600 version that somebody started and went really far with. And it's completely doable. Mm -hmm. If you look at it, it's like, oh yeah, this is, oh. You can jump them. You can jump them by twos. You just yeah, have to I don't be... want to jump by two. I want to jump by three. And then you have three. to take one step. This I had trouble with. I, I, I This one I'm not sure because I was struggling with, with the big steps. Yeah, if you do it from the edge, you won't you won't cross it. If I run across, you mean? Well, you have to. You can't start at. Well, you can try. You'll fall. <laughs> if you start if you start off the edge. Oh, so start there and yeah, run. But I, w I was having trouble getting that to work. So you can oh, try. thank you, Al. Yeah. Rod Castler, listen to Tanya. Listen to Tanya. <laughs> yeah, you can't be right at the edge or you fall. You have to... But I was having trouble with, with the timing and the spacing of it, so I don't know. Try from, like, there? I don't know. One pixel? Mm. Try from further back. I want to try closer. I want to try really close. Not that close. <laughs> Move right from the far edge. Yes, that's what I was trying. Like that. No! I, yeah, I have trouble with the edge. It definitely doesn't behave the same as the Commodore 64. It is very disturbing. It is very disturbing. So that's as far as I can step on. I, I, when I, so on the Commodore 64, you can't be on the edge. Right. Right, you have to be further away. I don't know. 
tried everything yeah. except the far, far ones, and then I have to estimate. So it's almost like a step and then a step. Maybe. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Close. I was. I. I. I f Screams exactly like James. Did you voice this port? Yes. Don't I did leave the this stick. No, I didn't. I didn't. I'm pressing. Maybe there. Try right it. on the ledge. Try it. Not on the ledge. Not one toe over the edge. Yeah. We'll do one back from the Something edge. Something is a little off there. There's one back from there, the edge. There. That, that would be where I would think it would work, but it's not. All my points. All my time is going. Yeah. Can I try? Okay. Now hold the stick when you cross. Well, that's not what we want. That doesn't solve the problem. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work. I don't think jumping is the solution either. That used to do it, like where you're just slightly off one the edge. One toe off? I already yeah. tried that one. Yeah, I tried well, it I'm on. Struggling. I tried it one pack. Oh, come on that's and jump. That's two back. I tried one toe over the edge. So you can do three back. Oh, I tried that one. Stop Stop using the one I tried. Nope. Now we've done that one. Oh, I've, no. done, I've done two over the edge. Two over the edge. Two pixels over the edge. There? Uh, no, that's one. That's one. Whoa! Three over the edge. Oh, you let go of it. Make sure you keep holding it. Yeah? Yeah. There oh. it is. It's two over the edge. Oh my god. And that's she dies so immediately. Hard. No! What? No, no, it's okay. It's too late. The game's over. That'll work too. There we go. Okay, two or three over the edge works. Hooray. Hmm? Yes, my so game. So three over the edge. Okay. Two or three. Two or three. Oh, you can't go over the computer. Now I know. <clears throat> oh, that was close. Ah, there's a computer there. No, he doesn't move. Damn it. I get to practice. I was late because Twitch failed to notify me. <gasps> Bad Twitch. Well, now we know how to walk. Oh my god. I'm halfway through a ledge. There's a bug. Oh my god. There's a huge bug. It thinks I'm at the computer. And I can't go up. I'm gonna have to jump back. Oh my god, it's all crazy. It's very confused. <laughs> Hey, Miker! Awesome music at the intro screen. You did an awesome job on that. Okay, good. Proper again. Game lost track, yep. Oh, bye bye, Gisberto. Thank you so much for allowing us to do this world premiere of your new game. It is incredible. I think I can just search and do it. Oh, this level. Oh, it's so hard. So hard. I forgot Split. about the rest of this. Oh yeah, it's hard. Help me. You do this. Me? Yeah, I can't do this. How much time is left? Oh, he knows that bug. Okay, excellent. Uh, I don't know. I have to exit the room to find out. Probably not great. We just killed like at least two hours of. No. Two hours of playtime with. Uh... Didn't mean to do that. See if I can. Two or three. There you go. There we go. Okay, now I'm doing it properly. Yep. <laughs> oh, thank you, Gisberto. Have uh, have a good day. Um, looking forward to updates on this game. It is very awesome so far. Um, and you didn't find any. Mm. It feels just like the C64. It does. There's some minor adjustments <sighs> you have to make. Oh, you're fine. Minor adjustments you have to make because of, you know, the different size of things, but that's a very quick mental adjustment. It was for me anyway. Okay, exit the room. Let's see how much time I have. Oh, it's not much. No. <laughs> okay, Tanya's going to play it once more, and we're going to actually look at the puzzles. Okay, now. we'll try to get halfway and look at the puzzles. 
because I'm scared we're not going to get very far. Oh, wait. It's Miker. Let him let play the music for... The guy who did the music is Yay! in the chat. Super awesome That's music. That's excellent. Great title screen. The jumpy dudes. Is the puzzle only working? You said None no. of those are. Okay. Yeah. Looks fantastic. Okay. <laughs> it's our last playthrough, and we're gonna we're gonna actually do the tackle puzzles. the puzzles if I don't completely screw it up. All right, let's get something. Probably gonna die immediately. Gavadev, one thing I would like to take advantage of is the ginormous Lynx color palette. This shouldn't be beholden to the C64 garish 16 colors. Right. Yeah, I mean he's trying to do. I oh. knew it! I knew it! I knew it! Should have gone to the very yep, left. That's what to I'm test doing now. Yeah, I can see why he wanted to keep the original colors, but what he could do is have an alternate palette. Have a Lynx palette. Up! Oh! Whoa, you survived it! Go! I don't oh. know how I did that! <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know if Gisberto's still here, but a Lynx palette would be awesome to have. To, to give um, an alternate look to it because the C64 only has 16, 16 terrible colors to choose from. Some of them are okay, but most of them are terrible. Actually, eight of them are okay, and the other eight are bad. We investigated that one day um, because I think Darcy and I were talking about the colors oh, yeah. on the C64. So what they did is they picked eight colors and then all they did is what went what's automatically on the other side of the color wheel and that's where the colors they went with terrible terrible choice mm. see uh, thomas said i always like the c64 black and white uh micro says to be honest i tuned linked instruments to the atari 8-bit frequency using trial and error method and it still works oh awesome oh so fluffy kitten make me itchy Make me itchy. Oh, you're a good kitty. You're so soft, too. You're a soft kitty, Is he a soft too. cat? Oh, he is. I think Sprite beats him with softness just on the top of his head, though. Sprite has a soft, soft head. What's your favorite room? It is my favorite room. Yeah, you're right. That robot is exactly the same. Bottom robot, anyway. Hi. Line it up. Whoa. Ugh. I find this control the, the uh -huh. joystick. Uh -huh. No, I'm serious. It, I'm like hitting angles all the time on it rather than hitting the... I think I need to put it on something. Uh, there's nothing here. I can get your tray if you want. It might help. Okay. sit in the far edge of the left uh, I think he might kill me we'll see oh the far left edge yeah, oh you like can, if you I'm can here. kill you um, oh 100 percent I think you're gonna have to disable the robots uh, damn I told you. So, no there's there I swear that you could do that um, oh no his zappers full length of that. Run, 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 quick, run, run, get out of there. Of course it's nothing here. <laughs> That's how it works. Come oh, on. You did have some more time. <laughs> Not much, though. Not 
that's an easy crossing point. Smitty B says you managed it earlier. There's just enough time without freezing them. Oh, you mean going down searching, going back up, going down searching? Oh, yeah, 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 you're it's right. It's risky, but... Oh, you want the... Uh, yeah, give me tray? some. Wait till I'm... Done this level? Yeah. Is the searching time associated with the item? The searching time? Yeah, yeah. sometimes. Or is it random? So he sees you and comes back. Ah! It's probably easier from the top. I'm going to skip that. Go back to that. Okay, want the tray? Yes, please. Slippy, though. Not as slippy as Do you want the, the plugs pillow. in it? I've got the slip Here. plugs for it. Your slip plugs? Yeah. Oh, to go in the bottom? They pull out when it's on the carpet, though, so I keep ah. them out. Thank you. I didn't know these existed. Well, they're normally in there, but when I put it on the carpet oh, and move the joystick better. at all, it just goes blip, and they all come out. See how fast that is? I swear it slows Well, down. I didn't even see it. It went away too quick. <laughs> no, he follows. Jeez. Which, the, oh, that one? This is the hard one. Get the printer and then you could dis, um, pause the robot. Smack to the uh, head! How do I usually do this? Get in. No, that's not where you're supposed to land. <laughs> Ugh. Whoa. Wow. Mm. Are you going to try and jump over him? Yeah. Jump, jump, jump. He doesn't zap, it doesn't look like. I think so, he's fast, though. He might be. Nope, yep. he is fast. Uh, I think I have fast. to. I have to disable it. Wait, Ugh. wait, 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 don't do it yet. He's on top of one of them. I, I can there. search through him, though. Oh, never mind. I'm thinking the C64 version. I swear. I don't know if that's... I'm going to look at the C64 uh, video. And I'm pretty useless. sure you get killed by them. I, I want to say yes. It's ingrained in my brain. Maybe I'm mistaking it. Uh, Does anybody know for sure in the chat if you disable the robots on the C64 version, can they kill you when they're disabled if you walk through them? Take me a long time to find that out. So I have to find this person who's probably a very good player that doesn't need to disable the robots. Good, they're on the exact same level you're just on, except they had a slow robot. Oh, and that robot doesn't go all the way to the left edge on the one. Yeah, playing. he moves slowly. Yeah. Oh, okay. Found a disable. Let's see if he walks through a robot, which he probably won't. Ugh, done that poorly. <sighs> he jumped over a robot. He jumped over it again. Oh, I'm not going to find out, am I? Damn it. Okay, I have to search for another pause. Oh, he's paused him. Okay. walk through any of them. Oh, wait. Oh, he went right through one. Yep. It looks 
Looks like you can walk through them on the C64. Okay, I couldn't yeah. remember. I think maybe I've... it's the boulders that you can't walk through. Mm, maybe. I'm gonna look for another one. Nope, you walked right through it. Okay. There's no way I'm gonna find a pause walking through a boulder though. Be able to jump over. Whoa, that's so fast. This is the. You can walk, you can run across. Nope. Oh, you, have to, you have to get a head start, though. You can't just start from nothing. Ugh. Uh, There's no point. Oh, I think I jump them usually. Yeah. Ugh. Into the uh, I'm just head. dying. No, no more dying, please. Stop the dying. check your time after you finish this room. So you might have to go to puzzles a little bit earlier. That's okay. Too slow. Oh, I thought I was dead. Right after he zaps almost. You get so close to him. Let's do the puzzle, just to show it, just in case. Oh yeah, you only have an hour 50. That's good. Down, 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 down. It was this side, right? Yeah. should match. I, I, I read out earlier that yeah. he says if they're not part of the same puzzle. Oh, you get a. They will. They'll say it won't match. Okay. Even though if there's room, he made it easier. So he's doing a software match rather than I, a hardware how do I match. delete it? There. Garbage. So. Okay. That doesn't match, but. Mm. Just playing. interesting because you can put it in four different configurations uh... Ooh, that... no no okay yeah they're hard games <laughs> yeah. let's just see i bet that Good. Oh. Bye, Miker. Thanks for checking in. Thanks for doing the awesome music for the intro of this game. Not enough pieces. And a memory. So what is the phone? I can't remember what... Oh, you dial it. You dial in the codes. And it'll flip pieces properly? No, you... Oh. You dial it in, and it gives you a code, I think. When, when, you've, you, when you've matched it... the puzzle piece, you oh, dial okay. it in. It's something like that. It's been a while. I'm sure it says in the instructions. Yeah. Uh, can you... Can you... No, can you I get out of here? Off. Can I turn that off? Power. Okay. Uh, phone keys dials out for help. See using the phone. When you touch the phone uh, key on your pocket computer, it dials up an agency's main computer to get some help with the puzzles, but there's a charge for using it. Each use of the phone costs two minutes. Agency's computer will give you three choices. 
Select the one you want. Collect correct orientations of the leftmost pieces. And have we enough pieces to solve the upper left puzzle? Oh my god. So that is useful if you have a lot of time left. Um, you can go, oh, you'll be able to solve uh, one of the puzzles. And it'll fix the orientation of uh, the left two puzzles. Which one is that? Sorry, the... When you phone in. When you phone in. There's two options. It just gives you help. Yeah. Oh. The middle that one sucks. is the undo button. And the pause with the two oh. dog or cat paws pauses the game. Hmm. <laughs> Cute. Oh, God. Just the stepping is not working the way I'm expecting it to. Over edges? Over, um... Yeah. have to be two or three over. <sighs> Which is not how how it kind of works in the... <sighs> all your time! All your time! That's okay. Is that a zappy guy below? Yes, it is! Ah. Uh through. See, this should get me across, but it doesn't. That's what's screwing me up, because I'm. that's automatic for me to try Walk that. across? Yeah. Well, you have to be two or yeah. three over. Yeah, which there. is why I'm saying it's screwing me up. <laughs> well, you just have to remember. Oh, he's happy. Oh, he doesn't go after you. He just turns around and zaps. That's good. Hi. How are you? Do you want to lap? Oh, lap cat. Good kitty. Not complaining. You got some treats. That's good. Okay, is that it then? I guess so. Uh, did, is it all the way to the bottom? You went? Yeah. Okay. No ball to mess with on this one. I yet. like the balls. <laughs> yep. I think he's only put it in one, he yeah, says. There's only, yeah, the, the figure eight one, figure eight one, which has a consistent pattern, yeah. whereas these balls follow you. Yeah, it's a totally different mechanism. Um, and you can interact with the balls by pushing them with the, level, with the um, elevators, which he'd have to program completely differently. Ooh. Oh, he turns around. It's Mr guy on the bottom zappy is he just fast going back and forth he's just fast. oh he's oh, zappy, he is zappy too but he stops <gasps> perfect gives me lots of space i'm fine with that yep those are sometimes the best robots oh this oh, one is this no. one's trouble i don't know what you can do disable them resetting the i don't know what else to do either disable That's... or else lose a life <laughs> I've, I've died too many times. Yeah, there's a lot of dying. Oh, oh boy. Uh, it's doable, but. Yeah. Is he zappy? No. Okay. Okay. Is he fast? No, not super fast. You can get those pretty easy. And that guy's a patterned robot, so you can jump over he him. He might zap me. You can jump over him. That guy, yeah. We don't know. But you can get that printer guy. Next. Oh, oh no, I thought he was going to move first. Yeah. Oh. oh, no. No, no, that's how it works. That's how this room works. Really? Yeah. Nope. Oh, you don't want to walk across. Oh, you want to go to the printer. <gasps> Ooh, you're tricky. I know. <laughs> Tr 
tricky player. Oh, he follows you. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. Have to disable. Uh, you can't jump over him when you go no, up. No, you can do it without disabling. I'm positive. Oh, you could fall from the top, and then start doing yeah. the jumping back and forth. That's that's a, probably a. Whoa. Yeah, middle one. I don't. Oh think you no! Can do it easily. You can't, cause he follows you, and he's too fast. No, he's too fast. Uh, I have to disable him. Maybe. And disable. Yeah, I yeah. think. I think you're right. Lead him to the right. Oh yeah, he, he, I forget that he's. I always forget. <gasps> No! Uh -oh. No, you're still good. Okay. You're still good. Go, go, go. Still good. Search that computer. Search that piano. I'm oh, dead. Oh. Ah! You, you weren't dead, but I then you were dead. Oh, uh, there's a couple complaining cats, but it's Sprite, and we've learned to ignore them almost. I was actually able to ignore Sprite this morning. Were you? Yes. You blocked him out? Yeah. Uh, Thrust asks, are the colors 100% identical to the C64? They might be slightly off. Ah, not fast enough. Um, I wouldn't take the color output on this Lynx as no. accurate Lynx color output. Because there is a bit of translation going on, and some other people have said that... Oh my god, I should be able to have a <laughs> Oh, we're so close to death. <laughs> oh! Yeah jump over you can this is the complainer i swear you can this black cat all day every day all night he gives us seven hours of peaceful sleep and then he goes meow 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 to feed him then he goes meow 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 till both people get up yeah or one person gets oh up, this is least. a terrible room oh there's so much zapping nope so dead <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for it. Waiting Shake for the screen it. and laughing. Oh, not fast enough. So he has you both well trained. Yeah, he's trained us very effectively. And we have to give in because he's so annoying. Killing me, killing me. Thank you for following um, Pepe, Pepe Durr. No. Glad you're enjoying the show of our world premiere of Impossible Mission for the Lynx. It is absolutely. S oh! And you didn't die right away. You <laughs> could have ran away. To what? Whoa. You don't have an IoT device to dispense food from another room from a voice command. It's, yeah. breakfast. it's breakfast time. Yum, yum, yum. We are th seriously thinking about it. Oh. See, of I'm making just... a timed dispenser for the morning. Um, I don't even know what I'm doing now. I'm just running straight into it. I'm frustrated. She's given up. No, I'm not giving up, but it's just <laughs> like, sometimes it's like, I'm not even paying attention to the timing now. Two toes over. There you go. Just plug it into a clapper. <gasps> yeah, you could. That's a very cheap. A door would do too. We have a door. He meows at the door. The door doesn't help. He is very loud. He's learned to maximize his tiny volume to up to eleven. Um, yeah, we're thinking of getting a feeder for the morning. Especially on the weekends. Oh my god, I'd love to sleep in again once, kitten. Hey? Would that be nice? He's like, I sleep all day. Yeah, we can't do that. <laughs> we could, but I find it hard to nap. This makes me groggy all day. So, yeah, I would like to get a feeder. 
See if that would solve the problem. It may not even solve the problem. Ah. It may be just like, yeah, I got my food. Time to whine some more till you guys are up. It'll, it'll solve one whining problem. The other issue with the feeder, with the auto dispensing feeder, mm. is that c these cats are persistent. Yes. They will try and open that feeder. Oh yeah. We would have to get a very well uh, sealed feeder. So that they can't just tip it over and claw open the top. It has to like have a very secure screw on cap. Two doors then. Ooh, put a cat, get a cat gate. <laughs> the top. We could still hear him at the top of the stairs, I think. <gasps> Holding it too long. But with cats, you'd have to get a floor to ceiling cat gate. Cats will just climb up and over it. Like I said, very resourceful. One of those bear proof fo food lockers for camping. Yes, that's right. That also dispenses somehow. I am my robots. Oh, they've been doing a good job of that. <laughs> that they have. I think we're done. We done? Uh, yep. Yes. Lots of passages over, three to choose from. Yeah, whichever is the easiest. Not Probably that one. that one you were just on, it just went right across the bottom. Oh, you're not done this one. Whoa! So, well, oh God. what's happening? <laughs> um, so we'll have to do some research on feeders. Oh, is he zappy? Sometimes you, just, you can't find out until you try, right? Well, yeah. Or you just have it memorized. Like I said, there are patterns. Right. Ugh, memorization. Memorization is my worst enemy in games. So it's doable. Yeah. Oh, it's so long in the bookshelf. <laughs> A lot of books to look through. So kittens, would you like a auto dispensing feeder? Hmm? For the morning times? Oh, oh no. that's okay. I had to. I had to do it. Yeah. The the upper one's much easier to cross. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's a straight it's across. A straight across. Yeah. You can ah, <laughs> he hasn't gotten it yet, so you can adjust it. You can stop it. Yeah. Ah, imagine having a reliable memory. Yeah, I know. Altered karma. It's like oh, that'd be nice. I can remember some things. Just not massive, ever-changing maps in video games. Not something that's good. Um, even, like, Dark Mazes. That's my ultimate nemesis in video games. If there's a game that we need to play on the show, and there's a Dark Maze in it, Tanya's going to be playing it. <laughs> Chip away at it. Oh, this level. Oh, it's so hard. That this guy's, guy's very agile. That guy? He moves too fast. Nope, it's just impossible. Yeah. Or you just go, no. You just go, no. <laughs> I can go up. You're good. Oh, maybe he'll stay in one spot. Doubtful. You can't jump over that, can you? He moved to the right, didn't he? Oh, he might stay out. Oh. I don't think there's a way to do him. No. You have to disable it, because you can't jump over him. Stay Frosty 2 as a dark maze level. I think that's where I die on Stay Frosty 2. I've tried so many times to play that game, and I, I swear if you look at my playthroughs, that's where I die. Nothing. Always oh, nothing. Of course. How much time is left? There's because I died so many times in that one level. Oh, oh. tons! No, what? does it go up or down? Oh, it goes up. 
So what, seven? Six you, hours? Yeah, six. So you've got three minutes left. Uh, Just do the puzzle. Really? Six? Do the puzzle. Just do the puzzle. Okay. You have three three minutes left. Just try and piece one piece together. That one looks like a good one to start with. That one that's filled in a lot. Okay, I think these go together. As you can imagine, I love Stay Frosty too. But it's so hard. Do some flipping. Some flipping. Upside down and backwards. Oh, no. It doesn't. Oh, yeah, it might fit that way. No, not that way. This way? Yeah. Nope, no. The other one. Yep, yeah, there. There. I think it I think it might. Oh no. No, it doesn't. Never mind. Those don't go together. <clears throat> yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Look for another piece. Um, no. Ooh. That might go back one. This one? No, no, go back one. That top one. This one? Yeah, it's way if too you steep. Flip but it here. Upside down and backwards. It's a bit too wide on the bottom middle. Damn it. It's tough. It's only it's four four puzzles? Is there four? Um, let's look at upside down again. Yeah, I was thinking not not that way, but a different way. You flip it upside down. Upside down. Yeah, and backwards again. Yeah. Now try and match that one. No. No. Damn it. <laughs> these these are super hard. Yeah, they are. We definitely don't have enough pieces. <laughs> one of those will fit with one of those, but... Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> you got 30 seconds left to try and do one. That bottom one, mm -hmm. maybe it goes with that top left. Top left? Yeah, if you flip it. I was thinking it goes with this one. Oh, well, I got six seconds to try. What? What? Did you turn it off? No. You're on the off button. Stop clicking the off button. Stop clicking Is this? the off button. Is this? This? Is it that? I don't know. No. Can you hit the button? What am I touching? What am I touching? Okay, don't, don't move. Ah, I think we found a bug. <laughs> I yeah. think when it hits six minutes or six hours while you're in. Yeah. When it, when it hits six hours. Yeah. While you're in the puzzle mode. Yeah. It kicks you out of the puzzle mode immediately. Yeah. But, as you saw, you didn't die immediately when you're on Warning. that screen. Warning. And it, 
The tree fall is loose. Hey! Let me, let me finish. Yeah. <laughs> this is a bug report. Um, and I think it only checks every minute. Oh, I see. When you're outside, because yeah. that's all it needs. It doesn't need to check every second. Okay. So when it went, when it hits six hours and one minute, that's when he went the laughing. Thank you, Thrust. Yay, it is time for cat ball. Treat ball. It's treat ball time. Oh. All right. Who wants some treats? You want treats I'd like some treats too. Sprite, the only bug is my empty belly. <laughs> That's right. I have no bugs in my belly. It's empty. Well, Sprite, you're going to have to roll the ball around. He doesn't like to roll the ball. He likes to let like, Atari roll the ball. And, and he, he likes to yum, sneak the treats. Yum. That's what makes Atari very defensive about the treats. Yes. Especially during the bell ringing portion. Okay. Go, kittens, go! Go, go after the treat ball. <laughs> Sprite's like, hey, hey, can I have one? Are you going to have to get in there? It's like, oh, but I want one. Well, get in there, roll the ball. They're, they're quite respectful of each other. They don't... Are they? <laughs> I don't know about in that. In certain s situations... Cat paw. They they will <laughs> defer. It's like you're you're doing this, so one more round. I'm, I'm not. Or are we done? No, no, we're done. We're, we're done. done. Yeah. Oh, that's, it's, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough for now. Okay. <laughs> give a give a review mm -hmm. in a second after the cat. Oh, oh this is fantastic. We can give a review while this is going. I'll we'll have to switch switch to big mode. Give a little bit more time. Come on, Sprite, get in there. You're not gonna get any. Look, he's chewing them up. You're getting zero. They're respectful until the cat and it comes out. Yeah. Oh, then it's <laughs> yes. smack, smack, smack. Sprite yeah. is smacking his head. Are you gonna let him have some? He's like, no. No, oh, this still, is my cat ball. He's still racing after them. Oh. Ah, we'll, we'll catch some of that out when they've got their treats. There's about 10 left. Oh, he dove in and got one. Sprite, <laughs> Sprite got one there. <laughs> thank you, Chalcedony Mal. Ch thank you so much. Get them all calmed down after uh, yeah. After the show and they'll leave us alone. Oh, he's taking it out. What was this? Are you being nice to him? No. Or are you trying to keep it away from no, him by taking it away? No, he's trying to keep it away. Had to see the disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> Now let's see if uh, Atari will. We should put it us. in their little in their little. Uh, we'll put the catnip in the uh, cardboard. Do you in think there? they'll both get in there? And roll around. Yeah. <laughs> we'll try it out. See what happens. Um, do you want to get two coasters? Oh, I've got two coasters. Oh, well, you can just sprinkle it in the. Uh... Yeah, that's true. Not those ones. Those are the good, good ones. Well, there aren't any over there. There's this one. And the black one. Wait, so this is the dirty one. I don't know why you offered that one up. <laughs> I don't those know. Are, those are... These are the dirty ones? Yeah. Oh, you those, have the That's cat the now. new one, so... Okay. Yeah. They're almost done. They've got a couple treats left. Tari is completely dominating. Oh, Sprite's got a little... A little bit in there. Are there any left? Yeah. There's like two left. Get in there and get it. Oh, Atari's taking it over the ball again. He's chewing them up. Sprite's like, my belly. It's so empty of treats. Portioning out the catnip. Yeah, come on. Oh, is it all done? I think you're all done. Yeah, it's all done. It's all Good gone. Good kitties. Good kitties. And now for the catnips. Catnip time, courtesy of Chelsea Donnie Mao. Woo! Do you want to move the box? Or are we going to put them in there? Yep. Here. You ready for some catnip? I'm going to back it off a bit. There's your nap. There you go. Oh, drooly, drooly cat. Really? Oh my goodness, he's so drooly. Is that going to work? We'll see. Sprite's getting at it. Tari's 
I'm abandoning sure. it. Atari wants treats. He's like, these are treats. <laughs> these are treats. Atari, come here. Get some catnips. Look, look. Catnips. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, looking at the treat shelf. Yeah. They're like, uh, we want treats. Maybe catnip after treats is not a great. Or, or it, it, we maybe we shouldn't have put it in the box because. Um... Yeah, they're not really going after it. Yeah, you want to make a mess of the floor, don't you? Come yes, on. he says that is the whole point. Come on. <laughs> Come, Come on. on. Dump the cat out. There you go. There. You go. there. Does this make more Cats sense? Cats are to officially you? confused. There you go. There you go. And he sneezed the catnip all over the floor. There you go. Yep, that's what we want. A nice big There we mess. go. This makes more sense to them somehow. Yeah. Yeah, now it's working. Yeah. Okay. They didn't like it in the box. No. That's fine. Here, you want to put the box over there? I'm to try these new things sometimes. Cats are officially confused. Yeah. <laughs> it's very buzzy. What is buzzy? What? It's the game. Oh, the game. Yeah, it is the game. Well, it's not the game. Well, the links. It's the links. The links. Or the hookup I have. Okay, kittens. Oh, I have it cranked up. Maybe I need the output of the links higher. So, um. <sighs> Impossible mission for the Lynx. Fantastic. Wow. What Perfect. A great Perfect. addition to the Lynx oh my library. Gosh. I want to I want to play it some more. Yep. I might play it offline. Tanya's possibly favorite game of it is my favorite all game. time. I love this game. It's got yeah. the speech in it. Yeah. It's got all the awesome robots. It's got, it's all, got the all the levels. levels. The levels look pretty perfect yep it's copying the c64 colors yes. um still a work in progress it needs just a couple levels with the balls it's got yes. one level with the balls it's mm -hmm. missing five levels still with the balls but other than that it plays really 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 well all the frustration knock uh, yeah. 90 did an excellent job yes of converting it over uh, from the c64 to the links highly recommended mm -hmm. uh when if when he puts it out yeah. but you can check it out on the show um so yeah hopefully it gets official release i hope so too and stamp of approval from epic yeah awesome good um so uh coming up on the show we have some more world premieres coming soon oh my goodness it's been show after show of world premieres let me check out what's coming up uh let me bring that up Okay, there we go. Next show, we have two exclusive world premieres. First one is Zark Stars 5 Stellar. It's for the Atari 2600. And we're also going to be taking a look at five card stud plus ROM FujiNet crossover client. Okay, okay. Now the FujiNet uh, is available on a bunch of different platforms, including the links. But now uh, Al Nefer has made a interface so it so this 2600 atari 2600 can now talk to fujinet servers okay and they have games on the fujinet servers oh. that you can play online with other people oh really so that we're going to be showing the start of that okay so cool that's really cool are we so, playing online with someone we'll see okay um so can't give away too much because that's okay. the whole thing excellent um so that is kind of the start of interfacing people on Lynx, people on Atari 8-bit, people on C64, I think as well. There's a bunch of different computer systems mm. that are on the uh, FujiNet. So through the Plus ROM, now it has access to the FujiNet servers. Cool. So that is on uh, Friday's show coming up. And uh, we're also going to be playing some Atari 2600 games coming up uh, next Tuesday, I think. Let's see. Next fr Friday after that. Mm -hmm. Still the Drive Mars has an update. There's a new game, Berta and Butterflies. And there's a new Frogger. Wow. For the 2600. Excellent. Uh, we're also going to be playing Destroyer 7800 in the future as well. And I got to start uh, getting the developer spotlight 
lined up for nice. Steve Englehart. Nice. Um, there's also a secret uh, next month, May. May. Uh, secret homebrew from Champ Games, exclusive world premiere. We'll also be going through the Atari 7800's full classic library in May, starting on May 21st. All these games that I've never played. I've played some of them. Yeah. Another developer spotlight, Lawrence Stavely from Reboot, sometime later in the year. And a developer spotlight on Chris Walton later in the year as well. So lots of things coming up. Oh, Paddlefield as well. Paddlefield again. I have to fix some bugs. Yeah, yeah you've added some stuff uh, to Paddlefield that I wanted to investigate mm. um, and play on the show um, because there's like pausing now or something. I haven't updated it now. Mm. And for today's player, it needs an easy mode. Oh, for the impossible mission. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's pretty hard. It's a hard game. It's very pixel perfect uh, jumping and yeah. yeah. Fujinet on the 2600 is sort of how like the Voyager spacecraft can still be interfaced with modern systems at NASA. Mm. Yes. I'm looking forward to the 7800 library playthrough as well. Mm. Um, I've hardly played any of those. Oh, yeah. And guess what? You'll be able to play playing Impossible Mission again. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Except 7800. Will it be Possible Mission? Well, we won't get to the end of that anyway. Okay. In the five well, I understand. minutes assigned. <laughs> so we'll be playing the cartridge version. Yeah. Yeah. Because I have a bunch of 7800 cartridges. So we're trying to be playing as many cartridge off of cartridge as possible. Mm. Um, so that's it for today. Uh, thanks for hanging out with mm -hmm. us and checking out the world premiere of Impossible Mission from Nop and Miker. Um, Carl G, Gamma Dev, uh, Thomas, Chalstani Mao, Dan, Dan ABC, Al Nefer. Um, did I say Carl G? Yes. Um, Altered Karma. Yeah. Uh, Miker. Smitty B. And of course, Gisberto uh, Rondinella. Yeah. Thank you so much for allowing us to premiere your so, amazing so much fun. new game. So much fun. Yeah. Everybody's going to love it. Yeah. All the people on links and everybody who loved Impossible Mission back in the day. Um, uh, Rod Kassler, I saw in there. Rendered Ghost. Polygox. Lots of people today. Somebody B. H O J. Two three O nine. Splendid Nut. Nice. Commodore Chronicles. Trifle Nightmare. Commodore Chronicles. Yeah, great name. Atari Warlord. Lots of new names S. came Ramirez. in to see some. Uh, Miss the Lou. I think uh, an early Tuesday is uh, a yeah, different crowd. Seven different. of seven. Uh, v K four J J Y. So many new names. Yeah. So yeah, thank you for hanging out thank with us. Thank you for joining us. Bringing back the game line back online is still my to-do list. Oh, very cool. Oh, the cats are fighting. Let's go to the cat fight. They're squaring off against each other. Sprite's trying to find a way out. I think Atari's the aggressor. Yeah, he's That's holding his ground. Sprite's like sneaking off. <laughs> he's like, oh, no. <laughs> And he's gone. Uh, oh, I missed it. That's Where funny. That's right. for this Atari standoff. Yeah. Um, but, so the game line, you would have to have an... In, because it goes over the phone lines, doesn't it? Did the game line go over the phone lines or mm. was it a cable-based one? No, Sprite was attacking, tackling Atari. Why yeah. was he sneaking off then? Yeah. Interesting. I'm going to look up game line. I think Sprite started it. Sprite usually <laughs> does start it, to be honest. Although sometimes Atari does get a little frisky, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so it was a dial-up. So... Ah, dial-up. How would you convert the dial-up? You'd have to have a, I guess, a null modem going to a COM port on, on a PC. They're hissing at each other out there? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Uh, Gameline had an exclusive selection of games and its pioneering business model eventually gave rise to America Online. Wow. Wow, that's interesting. Huh. We have the client code, but not the server code. Uh, you might have to remake the server mm. completely based on the client code. Uh, how many are floating around out there? Are they easily findable, like buyable? Let me just uh, look that up. Or are you recreating the client? Uh, oh, I should have just gone to eBay. So, vintage. Oh, my. Well, that's perfect in the box. Um, so Ooh. That's expensive. Yikes. Yeah. 
Game line 2600. Uh, okay, that brings up nothing. Uh, maybe I should. Oh, okay. $200? It led to AOL. That's what the Wikipedia said. Yeah. Yeah. It, it eventually, I mean, it could have become amalgamated with a bunch of other stuff, but interesting. So this is unobtainium. <laughs> so it's not going to be too many people that are going to be able to use it. Let's go to completed. Maybe these people are asking way too much money for it. Uh, Ooh, me. three hundred dollars. It's sold for. That's with the box and all the accessories. That's it. So they command hundreds of dollars. Wow. So uh, it's not 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 going to be a lot of people who have this, and people who want it are going to have to shell out, and that's going to make the prices go up. If anything, mm. if you have an actual, not by much, not many people are going to be <laughs> going nuts over the game line all of a sudden, but neat. I request in for the game line. They sent me the binder with game instructions in the game line magazine. Ah, we have part of the server code. Okay, okay. Mm. So maybe you could recreate the game line, like recreate the hardware, mm. the the client hardware, and of course recreate the server hardware. Then you'd have to use a null modem to connect up to the PC. That would also have to have an interface to the internet, to your servers. <laughs> I don't right? Know. I don't know. Or is it going to be put into the plus cart somehow? I don't know. I don't know. A big project, however. Yeah, it, goes. it sounds like <laughs> yeah. lots of working parts mm. and 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 unobtainium. Just use the plus cart. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah that would probably be good. Mark, if pe people pay that much for the module, you should ask for money if they want. To yeah. Use. Yeah. Start up the subscription service. Yeah. Yeah. Again. Yeah. 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 For the 10 people that could be able to afford to use Just it. Just get a Patreon going. You join the Patreon, right. you get access. There you go. It almost seems you could make a simple Pi Zero hack with a supercharger. Mm, yeah, maybe. superchargers are a little bit easier to obtain because I think they did fairly decently because they were a, f a fully working thing. Because the game line never got... Did it get going? Let's, let's just look at this Wikipedia page a little bit more. Uh, game on exclusive selection of games and it's are those all ripped? All those games? Mm. Mm. Despite being ahead of its time, it wasn't very popular. Possibly due to its price of 60 for the hardware. That's quite a bit in... Wow. What year? 83? It wasn't... 15 for the membership fee and a dollar per game, Ooh. which you could only keep for a week. So you had to, to sign up. It was wow. 65 uh, 75, 75 for the first month. 15 more after that. Wow. And a dollar per game. Is the membership fee per month then? Uh, doesn't say. Doesn't say per month. Yeah. That's like ninety nine percent of Atari ahead of its times. Things that debuted the year of the crash. And that's died that's quickly. Why. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the master module had eight K of RAM, so a little bit more than the. Um, <sighs> Excuse me. The other module. Mm -hmm. Name escapes me right now. Who said that in there? Da, 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 da. Uh, I always forget the name of that stupid thing. Um, supercharger? What? Yeah, supercharger. Yeah. Yeah, the supercharger had six megs of RAM. Okay. Or six K of RAM. I would say it was megs. Um, so it had a little bit more. And a 1200 baud modem. Okay, so pretty decently fast. Physically resembles oversized silver Atari cartridge. It has a phone jack on the side. It was used to link to the mas master module with the CVC computers. Module was able to transmit with pulse or tone dialing, allowed it to be versatile in the field. The games available in the line were all from third-party game makers, largest of which was a Magic. CBC tried but failed to obtain license agreements from the largest game makers, such as Atari, Activision, Coleco, Mattel, and Parker Brothers. Oh, so, wow. All the best games. Yeah. I mean, a Magic had awesome games, though. Mm. Did it list the games? Oh, there they are. Well, it was quite a few games, actually. Yeah. Mm. But were they exclusive games? Uh, I don't see any games that I don't... Are not I'm not familiar with that didn't come out in cartridge. These are all cartridge games, so okay. Why did it say exclusive? Maybe exclusive versions of those games. Save the whales. Save the whales was exclusive. Okay. Room of Doom. I don't recognize that one. Hmm. So VCS Netflix. <laughs> Netflix. Yep. Oh, there it is. Save the whales. Never released on cartridge. Prototype found in early 2002. Wow. Okay. Is that the one I played? I played that on the show, haven't I? Is it a whale that dives down through mazes? Is that Save the Whales? 
Um, discontinue uh, a company named Quantum Computer Services changed to Quantum Link, which I know from Commodore 64. Mm. Uh, and then Quantum Computer Service became America Online oh, wow. in 1991. Yeah, Quantum Link was really cool in the Commodore 64. You could have little characters that walked around. Okay. And you could talk with other characters that were in the virtual world. That was like the first virtual world, oh. I believe. Online virtual world was from Habitat? Qu Quantum Link. Quantum Link, which had Habitat? Maybe is that it was what Habitat it is? I was thinking of. Yeah. yeah. Getting way off track here, but... Um, I want to look up Habitat. Not that. Not C654. Not Habitat Montreal. <laughs> Hi. Why yep. are you meowing? Yes, this is the one I was thinking it's of. Not, it's not dinner time yet. Yeah? Did all that catnip make you hungry? You, need, you Do you have the munchies? <laughs> you have the munchies? Lessons from Lucasfilm's... Ha it was made by Lucasfilm. Yeah. And there it was, like you could talk. Hi, Terry. Hi, Kathy. Nice day for a quest. It's always a nice day for treasure hunting. 86. Very cool. Mm. Habitat got resurrected a few years back. What? Oh, my God. Let's go to the Wikipedia. C64, FM Towns, Microsoft Windows, Mac OS. Mm. And... Doesn't say anything about being resurrected. Revival, there it is. 2016, a project was undertaken to relaunch Habitat using emulation of both Commodore 64 and the original Q-Link system that Habitat ran on. Wow. Uh, and February 2017, open source project Revive Habitat, renamed Neo Habitat, announced to the public. Neo Habitat is currently operational, accessible to all. Development is mostly complete. The original Habitat experience can be had once more. Wow. There we go. So, in essence, the 2600 lives on through Habitat. Yeah. Uh, interesting. Anyway, that was too many things to yeah. jo join together. <laughs> um, neat. Yeah, very neat. That is very Go down neat. rabbit hole. So, uh, thanks for joining us. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of fun. Do you have a lot of fun playing I that? Love, of course. I love playing Impossible Mission. It makes me want yeah. to play it more, especially when I don't do well, and then it just makes me want to keep playing. Yeah, so, so, so when that gets updated, we'll play it again. Yes, I can't wait. Um, maybe in an After Dark, so we can yep. finish it. Push push my way get, through it. Get and close to finishing it Practice anyway. a little bit beforehand so that I'm a little bit more... Yeah aware of the rooms again and yeah, yeah we can take this pretty C6, fun, though. the 64 mini upstairs and you can practice oh that. yeah i think yeah. when i played it on the last after dark i did play it a little bit yeah to kind of get used to it again so yeah. it's such a fun game it's it such is. a good game it's really good it's a thank nice you again. balance of a lot thank of you stuff. again for bringing it to yes, uh, the link thank you so much so it's such a fun game um, so we'll be back on uh, Friday. I think it's Ireland's Day. We'll see if he's available. See if he's up for it, yep. I think it's Ireland's Day. I think so. Maybe. It was Darcy last weekend, so. Was it officially? Yeah. Yes. I think okay. so. Yeah. yeah. And um, we will see you then. So have a great week, everyone. Yeah. And uh, the cat's going insane. He has lost it. He has lost his fluffy little mind. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll see you then. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.